sponsored by BetterHelp. Hello, 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 everybody! Welcome to That One Piece Talk. My name is Larry. Lawrence, Sam. Good boy, Anime Sunday. Hey. And Lionel, who's not here right now, <laughs> but he will be later. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, I messed up the intro. You did. Yeah. This is That One Piece Talk, <gasps> where we talk One Piece. Come on, bro. Finish it up, though. anime. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everybody for joining us today. Just lower it a little bit. Oh, Mar, <laughs> Lauren says he wants you to lower it a little bit. His eardrums are sensitive. <laughs> hey, Amen. Are you good now? Are you good, Lauren? That's better. That's yeah? Good. Yeah, yeah we got to cater to you. What? You asked Mar to lower it all the time. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> all right, everybody, as you can see, we have a very, very, very special guest Anime Sundays. Uh, just want to thank you, brother, for being here. Um, personally, me and Sebastian are big fans of you. Hey. Have been before we probably even started the pod, yeah. to be honest, because mm -hmm. I know you've been doing this for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But please, to everybody that doesn't know who you are, introduce yourself, tell them what you do, and also what you're about, bro. Okay, yeah, I mean, once Hold again. On. A little uh, bit closer, my brother. Yeah, of course. No, <laughs> once again, I appreciate y'all boys having me, man, because I actually am a fan of y'all. Like, I really do rock with y'all podcasts. Like, y'all show, it's dope. Y'all, I just got to say, some of the most educated One Piece folks I've ever seen, like, <laughs> on the internet. It's no cap, like, real 100%. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, me, Anime Sundays, uh, anime content creator. I make a lot of funny skits, TikToks, do a little bit of debating on the YouTube, but, uh, Big One Piece fan, you know, just trying to have a good time, cosplayer, all that good stuff, man. You know, just yeah. just, just showing love to the community. Uh, you know, from Jersey, we out here. You know, yeah, everybody thinks we're from New York, yo. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 they don't understand the difference between New York it's and Jersey. It's a difference. Yeah, it's, it's a, a huge difference, difference yeah. bro. It's absolutely, a difference, y'all. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, but thank you so much, man. And you oh, also right. got your stuff going down with Anime Showdown, and mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah. you guys are doing a little debates mm -hmm. yourselves that are very similar to what we yeah, kind of yeah. do. So mm -hmm. we, I've checked it out before, but it, what's the what's the most recent topic that you guys, you boys, got into that yeah, was kind of uh, like crazy? Man, I mean, yeah. Shout out my boy Sean and Showdown, man. Uh, he. Shoot, I mean, I feel like the last video we did uh, that was going really well was the uh, we did a Gear 5 Luffy runs a gauntlet. I mean, if y'all don't know what a gauntlet is, it's just like a little versus kind of like walk through like how far would Gear 5 Luffy get through certain characters. And we also did a kind of like a St. Garcia gauntlet um, <laughs> recently. We're going to drop that soon, though, so we going to, uh, you know. But, you know, we always talking about something, man. Uh, uh -huh. Recently... Uh, Shona Showdown, he was doing a tier list video um, at the cons, and they've been going up. People have been saying, you know, especially when it comes to antagonists or, or side characters, that they don't, they not S tier or they may be F tier. It's, it, we've been seeing some wild takes at the convention. So if you ever go to I a con, I can imagine, bro. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I've seen like a video of it happening before, and a lot mm -hmm. of people are saying some disrespectful yeah, stuff. Yeah. People are just disrespectful. Yeah, cats, yeah, they they going to let you know how they really feel. That's for sure. That's yeah, for man. sure. The thing about One Piece is. It's a gender piece sometimes, bro. It I'm falling victim. Piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot. Listen, man. It happens. To you know what's crazy? I couldn't see Laura's eyes, but I knew he looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, I got to tell you, personally, one of my favorite videos of yours, bro, because, mm -hmm. like, you got a couple bangers, right? Like, you got more than a couple bangers. Mm -hmm. Yo, that Orochi Maro piece when you be dancing, bro. <laughs> yo, bro, I laughed for, like, a week straight, bro. <laughs> Man, I appreciate it. I sent it to it, me and, yo, I was like, yo, these are hilarious, bro. I appreciate it, man. You like, haven't brought it back, though, so I got beef with you. Man, I got I mean, beef with you. I need to hear Charlie Wilson, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. I mean, you made honestly, me download the song. Man. <laughs> That 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 man, I feel like that age of TikTok ain't ain't been the same no more. <laughs> I mean, it just that was when when it was really good good time to have fun. But yo, what made you, know. you do that? Did you hear the song and it was uh, just like yo, Roshimaru probably would do this? It was it was just more like um 
I think I seen maybe like a, I think I seen a sort of a comic version, uh-huh. and it was kind of like I think maybe at the time it was becoming a trend, but then I was like, man, if I think about two anime characters who would try to seduce. <laughs> Somebody, because I could, because I could have did, because like I yo, did the, the Brook version. Yo, the yeah. Brook version Brooke was Sandu so was funny. Yeah, funny. like I could when did. you were like with the cake, yo, yeah. bro. It's like, like yo, it's like you know what's so funny about that? I just randomly had a piece of cake, <laughs> in my and I was like, all right, watch this, watch how I do this. Watch how I do this. <laughs> yo. You do you play instruments? Cause you uh, had a full keyboard. Oh yeah, yeah. So, Where did you so, get that? So, so did I you did, rent that? No, no, no. Um, I actually just uh, somebody had sent it to me for my birthday on a wish list, and I, I don't really like play the keyboard, <laughs> but I kind of like always wanted to dabble and like mess yeah. around with it. So when the skit came out, like I, when I did the TikTok, I was like, oh yeah, I got the keyboard too. Let me just bust that out. <laughs> Let me. You feel me? But nah, that, that is uh, that is what about uh, oh, favorite man. videos? Just, oh, yeah, man. that that was one of my favorites, man. I just oh, sent it to our group chat in preparation, just so they can see just it. So they can know chat. Who was oh, on the show God. today? I appreciate y'all, boys, man. I just be having fun, man. I just be. I mean, when it comes to like TikToks, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I think is the funniest thing. Like, I'm not going. I'm not gonna try to like TikTok wants you to water it down, but yeah. I'm like, nah, I'm just nah, I'm, don't I'm do just it, gonna do it anyway. <laughs> like, it don't matter. So yeah. All right, and then I know you be on Twitch now too, and you be yeah, gaming. So. I be trying to do a little. So I just be doing like little anime reactions, and like if popular games come out, like mm. I'm probably gonna hop on Spider Man Two and all that. And like you know, just you know, stream it. You know, just have a good time. You know, trying to see where it go. You know, just trying to make everything, uh, everything move. You know, motion. You know, try to keep it up. That's all. Gotta so. get that motion. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the motion. You know, try but, to keep it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I just want to say thank you once again for of being course, here. No, no, uh, Marv, would you be able to do the thing? Please. So just for being here, I'm I'm a very like mm-hmm. I'm like a guy that just likes loves to show love. So mm-hmm. I want to show you love right now, okay. and then later on we're gonna go to dinner, of course. Mm-hmm. Oh, appreciate but it. But I got you this. Oh, I know you've seen me <laughs> with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But I was, like, I was <laughs> like, yo, That's got great, gotta have a little bites. Hey, man, uh, this is for you, my brother. This whole thing. This whole thing. What? Yeah. Right? So you could take it. you know with you if you want to eat it. Oh, yeah. Don't let Sebastian get any. Let me get one. Nah, nah, you're not getting any. No, bro. No, bro. There's no high. Those corn syrup in You're those. good, bro. Are you sure? Yeah. I didn't know that. Nah, I definitely appreciate it, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's actually funny. Uh, it's actually funny. It's, uh, it's my mother's birthday today. So hey. Oh, she happy loves, birthday, Miss Anime Something. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to save one for her. It's, you know I mean? it's her dad's birthday today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday to Pops. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. But everybody, for the agenda today, um, you know this is a big One Piece chapter. Super huge. I really wanted oh, yeah. some time to just, uh, I, w- I really wanted some time just to talk to Anime Sunday, but also to just digest all the crazy info that was in this chapter. Mm-hmm. So for those of you that are watching us for the first time, I just want to say thank you. Uh, for those that are on Facebook live right now, I want to say thank you. And to TikTok and to Spotify and Apple Podcasts, I want to say thank you. Uh, I really want to hit this video uh, with a thousand likes. So if you may, please, you don't have to super chat, but you can just hit that like button. Mm-hmm. It does us a great service. Sebastian, you almost hit him in the face. No, I didn't, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky he got him, bro. <laughs> you lucky he got Ultra Instinct, right? right? <laughs> you lucky. But overall, that's the agenda today, guys. We're going to get into the chapter. We're going to talk about it. We're going to sit with it. We're going to read Super Chats right now and say what's up to the chat. And then afterwards, if you wish to call up and ask us some questions, because I know that's like the Mm -hmm. famous part of the show, Mm -hmm. you guys can do that. And you can ask Anime Sundays uh, your questions as well. So that's the agenda. So if you can, share the video, like the video, and sub. Let's say what's up to the chat and read a couple Super Chats so we can get to the chapter. (laughs) All right, yeah. What's up, chat? I see Mosh. I see Chris. I see Kai. I see Procumbent, Toby, uh, Israel, Young X, uh, Mr. PW, uh, Hammer God of Usopp, uh, Blake, Drip D Sauce, Mahmood, just so many. Ayo, let's go. Magi Spectre, Joshua, Omari. Mm, there's so many of y'all in chat, man. But we do have a couple super chats sitting, so I'll read those now. Uh, we got five from Trev. It says, yo, starting up while I'm still at work, but you know I'm still listening. Can't wait for the show. Hey, man, don't get fired. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, don't get fired. Don't get fired. If you do, though, just be like, yo, topped on top when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> just blame uh, blame Sundays, bro. Yeah, uh, blame it. <laughs> We got another five-month membership to Nakama status from Trinland. Thank it says, you. hi, how's it going? 
Hey. Oh, hola. <laughs> Konnichiwa. We got another five from Dale Thomas. It says, what if the six six cre- uh, chest hold white beard Shiki, Kuma, Eva, Kaido, and Orochi's devil fruits? Uh, that's chapter specific. We'll get into that a little yeah, bit later. Yeah, we're going to get into that later. I'm going to yeah. say probably not. but We'll, we'll get into that. We promise. We got another uh, six from Sulphur. It says, greetings from the Netherlands. Loving the streams. Keep up the great work. Smiley face. Oh, Thank man. you so much. Yes. We love to every, hear. Yo, every time I hear somebody from, like, another country, mm-hmm. Super Chats or anything, yo, that, dry, that, that makes me feel crazy. Yeah, man. We got another subscription to Yonko Status. Uh, that is our highest tier of membership. So, AJ, yes. thank you for being a thank Yonko. You. Enjoy the emojis that come with being one. Uh, we have another five from Israel Fresse. It says, Yer, we out here. <laughs> like the stream. Hashtag Seb for Saturn. <laughs> uh, he senses the Fishman racism <laughs> yeah. from you, bro. Uh-huh. He y'all senses gonna, it. Y'all gonna make Sundays think I'm racist, bro. I, you know, I see, I see in the last uh, live y'all did, <laughs> and, and I was getting on my bed. I was like, dang, how you really racist? You're supposed to be black. Yo, I, <laughs> swear, yo, I ain't said nothing about no Fishman. He is pro Doflamingo. That's not racist, though. No, that's not racist. I'm He's a celestial dragon. If you racist. watch One Piece and you're not a, a Dofi fan, then you're mm. doing it wrong. You could be a fan of somebody racist, and that doesn't make you racist. Right. right? He supports what Doflamingo does, man. Chill out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> chill out, chill out. We got another five from Skylands. It says, shout outs to the guest who much love to you. Uh, oh, that's T- very sweet. T-O-P-T appreciate gang, it, love it. you all. Hope your weekends were great, and the rest of your week is as peak as this chapter. Yeah, yeah such a sweet. sweetheart, bro. Yeah. Thank you for that. Oh. that. We got another 10 from Mahmoud Farhoud. It says, I hope this isn't seen as a spoiler, but what if the Iron Giant gets involved against Saturn, allowing the Straw Hats to escape in a similar way so Nisha helped them? Mm. Maybe. Maybe I was gonna bring that up because uh, you remember last episode we had we we all thought his name was Ralph. He yeah. mentioned that. Yeah, mm-hmm. he did. Yeah, yeah. He called up and mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'll be interesting. That robot gonna get active at some point. No. So, yeah, definitely. We got another five from Procumbent. It says, "What's better, Egghead without the straw hats or Egghead with the straw hats?" Hashtag Gaslight Larry. Hashtag Hoochie Daddy Sev. Hashtag Lawrence D Dill. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> Um, I feel like them cutaway chapters was pretty fire. Listen, they was. It's a hot take, but every time the Straw Hats are not involved in One Piece, One Piece is better. That's wild, bro. <laughs> like the stream, it's yo. Better? Yo, am I wrong? I, I, I guess I can see that like sometimes it drags when they be on the screen, especially if it's not about any fighting going on, especially when you get to Nami and them just doing who knows what. I, I can see it can get a little dry sometimes. I get what y'all are saying. Mm-hmm. That speaks to the world building that Oda's mm-hmm. established. Yeah. You're excited to yeah. see these other characters. But, like, the Straw Hats be in peak situations more Man, often yo. than not. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, the Straw Hats weren't involved. What happened? The rivalry. Straw Hats weren't mm-hmm. involved. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Blackbeard Black versus Bear, Law. Yeah, God, Straw Hats weren't Bear, involved. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Blackbeard versus Ace. Straw Hats weren't involved. Guess what? <laughs> Shanks versus Whitebeard. Yo, like, I, these I feel, are all peak moments of One Piece. I get what you're saying, and I agree. I'm just saying to discount the work that the Straw Hats do on panel is crazy. Yeah. I'm not discounting. I'm just saying that the anime seems to peak a little bit more. It is crazy because the pacing is worse with the Straw Hats. What is no oh, my hats? God. It's so much worse. But you're building entire arcs up versus, <laughs> yo, we're cutting away to the best possible moment and then cutting away from that. So y'all not even getting the yeah. payoff that y'all want from that. I guess it's hard for you to really like have a show without the main cast. You know what I mean? Like you said, you can only get so like good with the side arcs, like mm-hmm. the the arcs where you're like, oh yeah, what happened with Garp and all them, without like being like, well, at the end of the day, we still gotta go back to see mm-hmm. if you know Sanji made it out or whoever. So it's tough. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Rogers' adventure was better than Thriller Bark. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. with the O, with Odin and, and mm-hmm. Odin. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's all I'm saying. Bart got some good moments though. Not that it's dude. Moments, that though. that zombie getting pushed back in the grave was funny. <laughs> who was, I who did that? What, what do you mean? Who uh, did that? Nothing, nothing happened. happened. Nothing happened. Yeah. Yeah. Nightmare listen, Luffy. I like Nightmare listen, Luffy. I'm saying there was golden moments, but I'm saying in comparison, Straw has that need to you know. But like, we can keep going. Yeah, we can keep going. We can keep going. <laughs> Oh, man. We got another five from Terrence. Matthew says, how did I go from calling you guys every week to not being able to call in for months? Ask Marv to look out for my number or something. Yeah, uh, we, we place the blame on Marv. 
<laughs> we uh we put your number on the block list, Terrence. He really played the JoJo ending. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so funny? This is actually my ringtone, so I'm thinking my phone ring. <laughs> Yeah, hold on. I thought I put it on silent. Like, Marv, oh, I wish you could put the the Keith Sweat one. What was it the the, the ending? The Jonas the Jonasy one. The Jonasy one. Yeah. yeah, I love that ending, bro. Oh man, we got another two eighty from Ash Griff. It says took some time off of work to listen today. So hyped. That's fine. Yeah, Yo, I can't that's be fine. jeopardizing y'all careers yeah. for this, bro. Nah, they can for us. Nah, bro. Hey, hey, they can't. I'm us. an advocate of man. Leave that job alone, man. <laughs> Follow your dreams, man. <laughs> like I said, blame Sundays, man. That's it, bro. <laughs> we got another five from Godzoro. It says, when is Marv going to sit down and review a chapter with y'all? Oh, man. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, Yo, y'all got to start hitting Marv up in the live chat, bro. That's, uh, that's between y'all and Marv, bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, we got another eight from Gus. English, it says, yo, guys, was watching an older episode when I heard the most crazy take I've ever heard. Oh, my God. Someone said Fisher Tiger was top five in the verse. Um, Who said that? I think... I don't think that was ever seen. We got a call. We got a call. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a call. He said top five, Fisher Tiger, bro. I want... Wild. That was crazy. And we asked him for clarification as to whether he was saying, like, best characters or strongest characters. He he doubled down on strongest. Crazy. Y'all be ten toes, bro. He must have felt the spirit. Like, he must have <laughs> related, you know? Yeah, he did. I hope he was black. We got another five. <laughs> I hope not. From, <laughs> from Who That For Life, uh, Chris, it says, salute to Sundays, and Rob, love the vids. Oh, appreciate it. Oh, appreciate y'all. PSA, Gabe at Smile Bomb on X is the biggest One Piece supporter. He'll say it's mid. Hashtag One Piece rent free in his head. Mm. I don't know that guy. He said, oh, Maybe Gabe, oh Smile you. Bomb Gabe. Oh, yeah, so Smile, so Smile Bomb Gabe is probably, like, the biggest One Piece hater on the face of the earth. And he does it on purpose <laughs> because he really loves One Piece, and he just oh. wants to hate on it so much because he's a he's a very big Naruto fan, and mm-hmm. he involves us in a lot of videos. He's a great content creator as well. Uh, but he always gets a lot of attention from hating on One Piece. And, um, <laughs> That's a you know, He just, you know, I just let him do his thing. I, I I don't need to explain, you know, to anybody why mm-hmm. One Piece is great. I, right. I, my days of doing that retired a long time ago. <laughs> I feel that, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Shout out to him. You might have too. to explain with a One Piece live action, just in case. <laughs> but the, the, the actual material, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, y'all like the live action? <laughs> I we not that I, I we not deep decent. enough into it, but from what I we I've got up to episode three. Yeah. I mean, so and I'll give you I'll give you a little quick like backstory about me. Like I went to school for like cinematography and, you did. and video. I was gonna mention so, that too. Um, uh, when it comes to like looking at it as like a show, like a television mm-hmm. show, it's good. I think it's really well put together. Like mm-hmm. they really did a good job. I agree. That's and, true. Yeah. Yes. We it, all agreed on that though. Yeah. 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 And so, now in terms of adapting, obviously what's been going on in the early days of One Piece, yeah, it's not as accurate, but you still get the vibe. You still get the feel. And I know a lot of people that started watching live action and went to go watch the show. That yeah. was the purpose. That's yeah. the purpose. Yeah, that's, that's the purpose. Good. That's, that's the why purpose. we supported it. If it's doing um, that, then it's doing its job. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Shout out to Matt, man. Don't listen to us. <laughs> Shout out to Matt. Shout out to Emily. They were yeah. nice to us when we met them. Yeah. No, they, they weren't nice to me. <laughs> Emily was nice to you. Yeah. Matt, no, she Matt yelled came at me across. Acro- nah, Matt, Matt came for Matt you. yelled at me across the bar. <laughs> Emily came after me after that. She rolled up stocky, bro. <laughs> hey, is it okay if I like take a, a picture of this and post it for? Yeah, 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 yeah do whatever it, you make, want, bro. Make sure people you know, pause. Make, oh, <laughs> make sure people tune in, man. So they come up here, man. <laughs> Yeah, we got another two uh, from Terrence Matthews. It says, Sanji would love to test that ride ride fruit. Oh, my God. Nah, let me tell you what I said. <laughs> the TikTok, the skits in my head that I was about to start chopping up was about to get, it was about to get lead, though. I said, let me, let me dial it back. I just got to see her. Yeah, her bro. bro. Let me see her at 25, dog. Yeah, bro. That's all I need, mean, bro. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> Man, I just want to see what the awakening. It sounds like it's getting wicked. I don't know. What is, what is the awakening on that? You know, that's all I need. Yeah, she rides you reverse, bro. <laughs> ah, wow. all right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Keep going. seven from Galaxy Shogun. It says Kazaru is a convicted felon, and his crime is fraud. Hey. One tap. Also, I don't care what nobody says. Luffy was sen- sensing Saturn in 1090. I'm calling in today. Okay. Uh, we look forward to that. Yeah, that's not true, but. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. How much more? 
more we got? Two more. Two more? We right. got another five from Hammer of God Usopp. It says, hi, guys. 34 of us watching on a YouTube after... On a TV after a One Piece contest. Hoping Broken is back... <laughs> I think it means broker. Is back on theories. We all love his Usopp Thor one here in Holland. Uh, shout out to Holland. Wait, man. Holland, I don't know. wait, thirty-four people on one TV? Yeah. They said they got wow. a party. One, Let's go. Podcast, but that's wait, a fire. Dope. watching us? That's yeah, fire. that's crazy. That's, that's dope. dope. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. Yo, crazy. get thirty-four TVs, right? Yeah. We gotta watch and then party. Hit like on each of them. Put, put <laughs> it, and then and then tap into your phone. <laughs> And then go on that. No, they joking. said from Holland though, so shout out to y'all. Yeah, yeah. you gotta watch. Isn't party Holland going. known for cheese? Is Holland Denmark? Is that the same? I don't I think? know. Is that you the know? Half, are they like you the half know? sandwiches? Bruh. That's Void. Right? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Is Void in that group? I, I don't hope know, so, bro. bro. Shout out to Void. But anyway, shout out to Holland. Yeah, yeah, yeah appreciate you guys. Thank we, you. We got another one dollar super chat from AJ. Uh, no words, but thank you so much for the donation. Yes, another thank you. one. You better from, say something next time. Another <laughs> one from Spencer Jones. No dot no donation, but just a dollar. Another 10 from Mahmoud Farhoud. It says, top five hottest women in one piece, in my opinion. Number five, Nami. Number four, Hina. Number three, Rebecca. Whoa. How yeah. old are you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Robin. Number one, Boa. I would put Shirohoshi, but I'm not sure Fishman haters would agree. I think Mahmoud, I hope you were a little younger, bro. Yeah, yeah. So you got to look at Shirohoshi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rebecca, how was Rebecca like? 16. 16, 16, right? yeah, yeah, 16 yeah, 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 yeah. Cheryl Hoshi like 15. Yeah, yeah. we're. I'm, I'm, I'm a, a viola stand. It's facts. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. All the way Stack, facts, bro. bro. Mm -hmm. Stack. Yeah, man. She built right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, we. What? We did get a fifty dollars super chat oh, from Shonen Showdown. Hey. Hey. Oh my god! Thank Much you. love to y'all. Glad to see my guy AS on the pod to keep shining. Yeah. P.S. Maybe you guys can figure out why Anime Sundays disrespects Fuji Tora, cause I still can. Oh uh, yeah! Explain yourself. Go. So <laughs> explain <laughs> right now. I I am a I am like a. Uh, I go on the consensus that your excuse is only going to take you so far. <laughs> you need to go ahead and tear some some bystanders up. You need to go ahead and, and, and really let it and let it, let it all loose. Now, Rob thinks I think Fujitora is like the worst of the worst. I don't think he's like weak. I just think that there's got to be at some point we're gonna say you're not doing your job, brother. You're not do <laughs> you're not doing your job. And I he he always asked me like, well, where where do you put him in the Marine Admiral Rangis? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I can't say he's a Kano's level. And right now, I'm not, I don't know if he's a Kazaro's level because you don't ever let it show. You never let us know what's going on. You got to show and prove You know, sometimes. you got to like, and, and I understand he had a good heart. He wants to do what's right. But there's a lot of cats that have came up to Fujitor. They walked away just fine. Mm. There's a lot of cats that have not done it to a Kano. There's mm. a lot of cats that have not done it to Kuzan. And so that's why I'm kind of mm. like, he not, he not getting my vote yet until... He he started doing what he needed to do. So, so you, but shout out Shona Shout out, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, he was easy different dog. You, you, you know, know what we call that? That's all I'm saying. You know what we call that on TOPT? What is that? Fraud watch. You got yeah. Fuji Tara on Fraud Watch. I, mean, watch. I would say easy different. I mean <laughs> Sabo completed his goal. He went there and got his boy Kuma. He went there and freed some slaves and he got up out of there. You know mm. what I'm saying? He learned some information. People he, doing it. And destroyed their food supply. Mm -hmm. You're saying? I, I can't. Sabo caught the dub and kind of buy a pee. Hold on. Hold on. You, you can't blame that on the admirals. Though. Wasn't Fuji free they weren't slaves going too? Out. They weren't but there's going two out. of them. But wasn't, there, he, but wasn't he freeing slaves too, though? Like, that, oh, that's Fuji like, Tora? in that situation, it was like he actively was trying to do the opposite of his job. I just think it's you had a direct order. The man said, do not let these revolutionary cats get out of here. It's you and Green Bull. Somebody got to get taken prisoner and everybody. That's not fair, made. though. What you mean? That's not <laughs> fair. <laughs> Yo, that's not fair. Why is it not fair? Why is it not fair? Celestial Dragons were literally standing next to them sometimes. And if they got hurt, they could have just ordered them to pass away but see but that's why i think they could have been like yo he's not admiral no more but that's the that's why i think that the the it's either like you have a lot a lot of power but you can't ever really use it which means the kind of like core of your strength isn't up there with the core strengths of everybody else and that's why i'm kind of like 
what are you going to do every time every time you're going to fight and you got to worry about going full power that to me that kind of makes you weak bro you got to sauce it up <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah 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 that's an admiral hate bro that's, the that's admiral hate. no 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 nice. no look at it from this way right mm. marine ford we know that Akainu and Aokiji and Kazaru didn't go all out. Why? Because they would have took out some of the Marines as well. That goes that goes like ten times fold for Celestial Dragons. They're literally the Celestial but, Dragons are like, all right, my house is right there. Mm -hmm. If you end up destroying my house, you're yeah. no longer Admiral, and I'm probably sent into yeah. you. But they see that's but that's that's my thing though. At least Akainu and Kuzan could, in my opinion, do a f more things without having to go full power than Fujitor has been able to. That's why I'm like, you know, you. That's you, unfair, bro. I, I, I don't know, man. I just think that, like, if you, if, if this, if that's always the situation, right? Uh -huh. Everybody, every time the admirals pull up, they're worried about obviously casualties. But at least a cannon and Kuzan can get certain things done because they know how to use their power without destroying everybody <laughs> and their grandma. Uh -huh. Then it's like, okay, I can see why you're fleet admiral right now. You can do certain things at a certain level where Fuji be like, oh, well, I can't pull that meteor out. <laughs> the question ahead, is, is it, it, is it an actual Yo, excuse? Hold on, is it an actual excuse or is he just using it to act like he's not do like, you know what I mean? I, I, if I'm trying to actively mm -hmm. not do my job mm -hmm. and I can use an excuse like, oh, well, I didn't do my job because I had and these I, casualties I, potentially around, that's an, ex that's an excuse to like not do it. Not so much an excuse because I, couldn't. Right, right? And, and, and 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 I agree with you with that for sure. Like I do think Fuji is strong. Like don't get me wrong, I do think bro is cold. I I still have trouble giving him a, a solid spot. Like I don't know. Like obviously I way stronger than Green Bull, but oh thank I God, know, yeah. <laughs> that was my next question. Yeah, no, way stronger than thank Green God. Bull, but like do I do I know like if do I know like because you know showing a showdown, he's more of the perspective that he's gonna be the one to take down a Kano if it comes to it, and I'm kind of like. Let's let's slow our roll because your man's a Kanu has done what he needed to do when it was time. You know what I'm saying? He's he, through, he, he, he has he has been able to, you know, do what he needs to do. And now even Kazaru has thoroughly impressed me. I'm sorry. Like I was a, a Kazaru's like probably one of the weaker ones for a minute. Mm -hmm. And now he's like in the game. Really like, oh no, I can really get busy when I have to. And I'm like, okay, see, now Fuji, it's your turn. This might not be the chapter for that. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you might want to save that take. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, 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 we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to it. Yeah, we're going to get into it. 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 But thank you, Anime Showdown, so much, yeah. brother. Show Appreciate it, show you. Show it, show it, show my bad, my bad. Yeah. For the rest of the Super Chats, we'll get to them later. We do want to get into the chapter itself. Yeah, yeah. So we'll save the Super Chats. All right. So, guys, we're going to jump into One Piece Chapter 1095 right now. Uh, if you haven't liked the video already, please like the video and thank you to everybody that's out there listening and watching um, All right, let's get it. Mm -hmm. So cover story What better way to start off the chapter than with a cover story featuring the genius jester himself mm -hmm. Buggy mm -hmm. the title of this chapter is better off uh, Dead in the world in request quotes. It says buggy chasing after a squirrel monkey stole his trademark nose Do you guys have any? Thoughts on the cover story so far, and we'll start with Seb. Um, not really. You know mm -hmm. I me. Mean? If it's not like an actual cover story, I, I kind of bypass them. I thought this one was funny mm -hmm. because it was Buggy losing his nose. It had me thinking, like, is it not really his nose? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it had me thinking that. Then I remembered, like, he has the Bari Bari fruit, so exactly. it could just be like something that was removed mm -hmm. via that ability. But, like, can that happen if Buggy doesn't initiate it? Cause then why was it gone? You know, like it had me really thinking that. Cause he got a little dish by a squirrel. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's funny to me. Also, Buggy's uh, feet ain't on the ground, Loki. But that's a whole other thing. So all right, but that's it. Law. He ain't getting that nose back, man. <laughs> <laughs> he lost that oh. nose forever. But now, um, Damn. <laughs> I actually just thought about because I'm pretty sure a squirrel monkey is not like a real thing. But I've always just liked how. The One Piece world, they combined a bunch of different animals to create like new ones, like new species. Because they had the same thing in Avatar, like you had like mm -hmm. a lion turtle and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I always thought that was dope because you have these different species of animals and they're doing stuff. But um, you sound like Shao Tucker right now, bro. <laughs> what? You better chill out. 
Wait, yeah, remember, what? remember when they had a regular bear and everybody was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, just, just a bear? Not, not, not a platypus bear? Right, right. <laughs> but, but also, I think buggies, for, for what you're saying, I think buggies is one of those abilities where it's like you're always... <laughs> like It's always on? Yeah, like mm-hmm. Luffy's. Luffy can't turn off his rubber. He's just mm-hmm. always rubber, mm-hmm. you know? Like a lot of people could turn on off. I think Buggies is one of those. But mm-hmm. that's about it. Mm-hmm. All right. What about you, Anime? I mean, uh, I, I'm not going to lie. When I did first see it and I read it, I thought it was like a reference to Buggy's speech where he was all like, what's the point of us doing this pirate stuff if we're not going to go for the gold? And I thought that was like at first what he's talking about. But then after we read it, I was like, okay, no, it's actually <laughs> a lot deeper than that. But that's that was my first initial like thought reading the title and seeing Buggy, I'm thinking, oh, it's maybe it's talking about mm. Buggy giving his little, uh, you know, motivation to Crocodile Mihawk to say, let's go out here and, uh, you know, do something. And I was like, oh, that, mm. that was cool. I thought that might be what was going on, but then I read it and I was like, oh, wow, wait. A yeah, <laughs> Sunday with the deep cut, bro. Okay. Yeah, bro, y'all be slacking because I thought it's signed too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cover. You, you know, I, I get know, down, bro. I know it's a cover. Like it's a reader request. <laughs> so for me. I was like, yo, if the squirrel monkey stole the nose and his nose is red, the only person that's ever given him trouble in life has red hair. Mm. So I said, you know what's crazy? Buggy has always searched for this map, and we don't know why he wants Captain John's map. We all assume he might find the One Piece instead. But realistically, maybe he's always just been chasing Shanks. Mm. 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 And I was like, that's probably why Oda decided on this cover story. Hmm. He's gonna chase Shanks. You think Shanks just like has that treasure map the whole time? <laughs> He's been trolling <laughs> Buggy the whole yeah. time. I told you to draw my crew. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you. Just, I told you. just <laughs> leverage. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be it would be interesting. So I like your thought too, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was just like my initial, I was like, oh, okay, maybe me. I thought maybe we talk. Maybe we were going back to Buggy. I thought what was going on at first. But, I'm uh, mad mm-hmm. as hell. We went back to Buggy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I would have been. I'd have been a little tight too. Actually, yeah. mm-hmm. All right. All right, guys, let's actually read the chapter. So, as we flip the cover page, we enter into the chapter with low-rank marines running away from the center of the island. They've been informed that St. Saturn has disembarked. They say to avert their eyes from his holy form. Mm -hmm. One marine says he's only seen them in portraits, meaning the girls say. Flashes of lightning light up the area. Marines and even Vegapunk are shocked Bonnie stabbed Saturn. Saturn tells everyone to pipe down and that if he were afraid of her sword, he would have dodged it. Mm -hmm. Then he hits her with another eye blast, knocking her unconscious. Sanji tries to defend her and immediately gets put down and hacks up blood while Saturn takes the impelled sword out and his body regenerates the wound. Mm -hmm. Saturn tells Kizaru he's sluggish and Kizaru replies back that he's sorry and he won't be mobile anytime soon. Saturn sees why and goes to murk Luffy, but Frankie punches Luffy out the way. Mm -hmm. Saturn comments how Luffy's crew is one that cooperates. He further continues by saying they fail to anticipate Luffy and Bonnie's presence on Egghead, but if fate is on their side, then he looks forward to their escape. Then he looks at Vegapunk and thanks Vegapunk for his service. What did you guys think about the beginning of this chapter for where I just left off? And we'll start with Anime Sundays, bro. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, man. As soon as Sanji was put back, I said, "Okay, time out. We got a big situation here. This is not no regular." Like, I immediately was like, "Oh wow!" Like, okay, Saint Garcia, he really is probably him. Like, I mean, obviously, you coming out of a magic circle out the ground, we ain't seen magic yet. I feel like in one B said, I mean, after that, I was really like, oh, "Okay." We may have a serious problem here. Luffy's, you know, he look like a raisin right now. Like he's, he's, <laughs> he's. I'm like, this could be, this could be bad. Especially because, you know, I, you know, Sanji will mess around here and there. Like if he's just not too worried. But when women are involved, mm-hmm. if he can't get, if if something's stopping him and a woman's involved, I was like, okay, nah, that's it's getting for real. But you know, it just gets more intense. You know, that's I was like, oh man, yeah, you know. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Law. Uh, yeah, honestly, it just goes to me, just going back to the beginning, uh, how much the – because I remember I always questioned if 
if everyone knew who the girls they were, but I guess I was talking about the general public. Yeah, we were we were thinking that like how many people you, actually seen the girls there? Right, exactly. Yeah. But apparently, you're seeing pictures before you actually see the real things because they're not showing themselves just to anybody, which makes sense because they view themselves so high. But going into like how the the Marines view them, like these are the people that stand above even the world itself. So it just shows the like how much they ingrained their superiority to everyone. You mm -hmm. know, is that. They view like such a holy person, you know. These they, mm -hmm. they they're trying to view them as like literal like gods in a way, mm -hmm. which is crazy because it's been. I mean, you think about it, it's been eight hundred years of them drilling this into the world of mankind, and now you have this affiliate navy crew that they believe this to the T. You know, like that the girls they could just do whatever they want, and they kind of just have to obey. They have to listen, and you're seeing that now, which is just crazy to me. But it shows right there how much the status that they have that they're holding over the Marines. And you have some people that fight like a kind of will kind of fight back with them, but he still takes their orders from them, you know. Mm -hmm. And going into this, where like we talked about this before, I was all right because it did look too easy for her to get this stab wound in, you know, body. And I was like, because you look, you just watched it happen. Mm -hmm. like, it had to be a play on something because I was like, you saw it coming. Why? Well, because well, to me, Bonnie's not that strong for this to be even landing. A, a, especially if you're supposed to be like the big bad or potentially. Potentially like end game with like with Eam in them. Mm -hmm. There's no way she should be getting this attack off like especially this easily. Yeah. But we saw it. It's like nah. It's, he let that happen. He's and now I'm going into why again. I believe it might be something else than a, an ability wise because he's this is a lot here. He's regenerating like yeah. really really fast. Mm -hmm. He's doing something with his eyes where he looks at you and like can shoot you or something like that. You know, it's a lot here. He's able to do and. Yeah, you got to that part, too, where he's able to hold you down. We don't know if it's his ability-wise or something else, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he's Lightning's coming out. Again, we don't know if that's his hockey or his, his mm -hmm. ability-wise. A lot showing here where, like, I kind of believe it might be something else because have we seen an Awakened do this much besides Luffy's? You know what I'm saying? Like, Luffy's, he's special, so to speak. That's why he's able to, all right, I'm creating goggles from my own thing. I'm able to grab Lightning. I'm able to affect so much. But that's Luffy because what he is. This is like something different. We didn't really get any clarification on mm -hmm. what this is for him to be doing all this other stuff, you know. And we haven't seen the Billy do anything yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's just right. standing there. <laughs> he's just standing there, but he's doing all this yeah. already. So I thought that was crazy. And then going into it, I don't want to talk too much, all right? You know I was coming with this. <laughs> you knew I was. Like I'm just saying. Oh my God. The Admirals, right? What I say? I said for the longest that I never believed that the Admirals were Yonko level. Right? You right, already know right. my nickname for uh, Akainu. Right. Mm -hmm. Two shots. Mm -hmm. Because he <laughs> fought an Admiral and two shots in. And it was crazy because how many he shots? He fought a Yonko. Yeah, Yonko. Yeah. That's what I mean. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. He fought, right? And then shoot, it's two shots to take him down. How many shots did uh, Kazarao take from Luffy, who's an Admiral now, you know? One. Mm. Which is crazy. <sighs> One shot, bro. And this dude was always like, oh, I failed you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I failed you. And I don't think I'll be getting up, be mobile anytime soon. Mm -hmm. One shot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, to me, this this kind of like, because also Luffy's like a mini Yonko. He's not even like a yeah, full grown, fledged Yonko. I mean, mm -hmm. you know that we've seen? Mm -hmm. He's still young, you know, still, he just, uh, or was it, gassed out of his ability wise. <laughs> you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. So we see how young he is, but yet he's able to put down an armor with one shot. Right, and we've seen like Kaido. Mm -hmm. Again, this is like one of the most durable Yonkos, but still Yonko level. Get hit with like a similar punch, and walk that off and hit Luffy right back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's putting down, mm -hmm. you know, an uh, an uh, an Amro, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the OG Amros too. At that, so when I was going here, like I was saying before, this I always said that this kind of to me shows more the separation. Where I kept saying that the Yonkos are not; they're way above. The Ambrose, yeah, right? I agree. Mm -hmm. And I, I know somebody, I don't want to add just too much to it, but like to me, this has got y'all rethinking that Rayleaf thing, huh? No. What? No. Y'all crazy? No. Well, not, yeah, y'all yeah, crazy. No. Oh. We're not yeah. getting into it. We're not getting into it. I'm telling you, basically, right he believes that Rayleigh is Admiral level, and he could he could probably beat one, but we, we can't get into it. Definitely, definitely in his prime. Definitely, we agreed on the prime. We agreed on the we prime. We talk about Rayleigh right now. No. For Rayleigh two years. I'm telling you, that ain't happening to Rayleigh right now. All right. Okay, bro. Okay. All right, bro. Okay. Anyway, are you are you done? Uh. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. Yeah, I could go. Seb. 
All right, so a lot happened here. And y'all yeah. touched on it uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a lot bit. did happen. So, one, they, they peeped that Black Lightning. I thought that was interesting. Mm-hmm. The, the the grunts or whatever, they straight up saw the Black Lightning. Is that Conqueror's Hockey? I don't I don't know if that's ever been visible before. Is it I something mean, else? I, 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 hockey I, I, has never been visible. Yeah, so I, I, I'm, yeah. I was okay. like, what, what was that about when I was reading it? So I was like, oh, okay. It's for us readers. It's not for mm-hmm. them. Yeah. Typically, but they said it. You get what I'm saying? Like, normally we see it. They straight up said, yo, yeah, what I, are those flashes of lightning? I mean, real quick, I'm not going to lie. I honestly thought, like, it was a different power. Like, I thought there was a different yeah. power system at play here. So I'm gonna that's, say that's where mm-hmm. I want to lean to. Mm-hmm. Um, the the Saturn Bonnie thing, where it's like, yo, if I was afraid of her, like, I would have like I would have just dodged it or whatever. I like that. I think Lawrence pointed out last chapter. It was like, yo, I think he let her do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, big W's for Lawrence on that. And, like, the fact that he did, and not just did to catch her, he straight up regenerated from the wound. Like, I'm not, again, it's Bonnie. It's not like some crazy Hawks person just hit you and you just regenerated. But the ability to regenerate is crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, he's, yeah. that's... Sanji can do it. It's all right. <laughs> so, I don't think Sanji can do that. If he got stabbed in the chest, I don't think he can just pull it out and just regenerate from the wound. I've seen him have a compound fracture. He's going to He snapped <laughs> his bones back into place. Yeah. This is... I was pierced through... And I pulled it out, and now the wound is completely gone. It's a little different. It's, it's a little different for me. Yeah, a little bit. I'd rather yeah. get stabbed than have my whole leg broken. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Depends on where you get stabbed. Um, in regards to, to Kizaru, <laughs> y'all know me. I'm a big Admiral guy. Yep. You know, I am. He all, it's, it's pack wash, bro. He got packed up. <laughs> yeah, he got packed up. He got packed Listen, listen, listen. Sunday, you can say what you want. That's pack watch, bro. He got hit hard enough mm-hmm. to be out here talking about, I'm sorry I failed you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yo, I get, I you, get you got hit once, bro. I get you. And I know uh, there's, there's mm-hmm. different versions of a one-shot, right? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, what Kaido right did to Luffy, that's one-shotting a dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Luffy had to use everything he had to get this shot off and land it. Right, right. But once it landed, Kazara right. was down. Right. And it was over, Right. Luffy down too, whatever. But, bruh, I wasn't anticipating. Like, I know I said last time that I think Kazaru's was down. I didn't expect to hear that from him though. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, I'm, I ain't getting up no time soon. Either. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the the official translation did Kazaru dirty, yeah, bro. But the dirty. other translation, I was like, I just some hope. Yeah, TCB made like, it seem like eh. I need a minute, right? I'm yeah. like, okay, okay, nah. He said, I ain't getting up. <laughs> yeah. I ain't getting up, boss. I'm sorry. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired, boss. I can't do Massive. it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Uh, no, 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 I just realized no, after I said no, it, when no, I no, sounded man. crazy. Man. But, man. but he's legit crazy. But he's legit. Yeah. He's massive. That was wild. That, I realized that right. afterwards. I didn't mean it like that. You're I'm done. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're done. I didn't mean it like that. I meant. You're done. I meant. Jesus. Anyway. Sorry. Shout out to Frankie. Shout out to Frankie. I yeah, love seeing Frankie, Frankie step up. Mm-hmm. Like, like yeah, we talked about Sanji got to mobilize and everything. Frankie was like, no, I'm still in my bag. Yeah, he might have been the highlight of the chapter. I got. I, it's not just he got Luffy up out of there. Mm-hmm. It's what he said afterward I thought was really dope. Like, it reverts back to, like, what Frankie was before he got recruited to be his tribe. He mm-hmm. was a gangster. He was an mm-hmm. underground, underworld boss in his little area, mm-hmm. delinquent kind of vibes, etc. Yo, he's laughing at the fact that the world's highest authorities and stuff are targeting Luffy. Mm-hmm. He likes it. He enjoys it. He revels yeah. in it. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's it's him. I don't say it's him running over Big Mom all over again, but he <laughs> has the same kind of energy. Mm-hmm. And I love that Frankie brings that energy. He's standing um, on business. He's standing on business. It's where he made Luffy business. bleed, though. He's stand- Yo, I, I was going to point <laughs> was it out, like, too. I thought it was a little com- man, comedic effect. Death, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, really? imagine that's how you unlock hockey right there. That's crazy. <laughs> um, uh, I think, is that where you ended right there? Um, I believe so, right? I ended where Vegapunk gets thanked for his service. Oh. Um, That's it. Yeah, I mean, I just like the stakes that we had. I think Sunday's talk, both talked about it earlier. Like, in general, we were talking about whether the show is better when the strides are on the screen. Yo, they get into these moments, bruh, where, like, yo, Sanji, supposed to be heavy hitter in the crew. He pinned. Can't yeah. move. Mm-hmm. Can't immobilize. Like, Luffy out, Zoro doing his thing, yeah, whatever. Right, exactly. What we gonna do, bro? Yeah. And this it brings me back to to pre skip One Piece a little bit because they used to find themselves in those situations a lot. Yeah, exactly. And the, the, it reminded me of when Big Mom showed up at Tress Rosa, where it's like, yo, what what's what's the answer? Because y'all not good enough to deal with what's happening right now. Mm-hmm. 
And I think a lot of times in post time skip, we don't have that. I feel like we in that right now, and mm-hmm. I love it because that's that's the one piece I love. Yeah. yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen, bro. I, but yoking up a Yago and and and, and 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 Bonnie like Shad standing on business for real. Mm-hmm. And I and I I know I took a little L with Kazaru. I did. I, I'll eat that. He's still being Rayleigh. I don't care. But I tried to tell you, Larry. The girl said was like that. I was gonna wait. I told you I was gonna wait till he started <laughs> stunning a little bit. He started standing on business, bro. I I mean I feel like nobody knew though. You sure. Know what I, mean? I knew. No, we knew. We we well, we knew. That, well, well, my boy Sean Sean said that too because at first he was like. Unless the Gore say are like, you know, top five Marines. And I was like, well, I mean, I feel like it's more political. We, but then he was like, nah, watch. We all won, though. You know. mm-hmm. We all won, though. Sundays, you wasn't here for this. But Lionel, if you're watching, <laughs> Oh, did not top 20, bruh. I, I won in the end anyway. But that's Dang. it. Oh, he's going he gonna to fight you later. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's it. That's all I got. On that, on that. Okay. That's all, all right. I got. So for me, um, hockey's invisible. It's been stated. So... I get, I get why everybody's like, yo, the lightning is going to be hockey. I think it's just his devil fruit. Mm-hmm. It really just is his devil fruit. Mm-hmm. Like, if hockey's invisible, that means it's his devil fruit, right? Mm-hmm. Finally confirmed, Gorosei are barely ever seen. That was cool. Uh, I thought it was funny that Saturn's just, like, openly trolling Bonnie. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, yo, this is, yo I'm just trolling you. Mm-hmm. But then it led me to some interesting thoughts. And I brought it up before on the last episode that I think the reason why he let her stab him is because his devil fruit is probably using people's hockey against themselves. Hmm. And what I mean by that is he's probably able to siphon or to initiate the stoppage of your will itself. So if she stabs him, he lets uh, himself get touched by her. He can siphon off some of her hockey, which means he could probably use her hockey to heal himself. But also, it goes back to the fact that when Vegapunk and Sanji and Frankie couldn't move, they're like, yo, why can't I move? Sanji has the will to be like, yo, I'm going to go save her. But he's like, yo, I can't move, though. So it seems like, and and, and then you see, like, the little flames. They're like Mm -hmm. invisible flames over them. Yeah. It looks like the devil fruit itself is just stopping your will from mm. doing what you want. And that's such a Gorosei member thing to do mm. because they want to stop people's wills in total. Mm-hmm. They want you to obey and be obedient. Mm. Yeah. So I'm thinking to myself, this is all just his devil fruit. Mm-hmm. When he does the eye things too to Sanji, mm-hmm. Sanji is capable of regeneration. But then again, I'm like, yo, maybe he's just using Sanji's own hockey against him, which makes him hurt by him. Like he's hurting mm-hmm. himself in a way. Mm-hmm. And it and I've always thought like I'm not a big fan of like the curses, like curses on people in one piece. I just don't want to get into that realm. Mm-hmm. But like if it is curse like, he's just cursing them to a degree. Right. It's kinda like Esterosa from like Seven Deadly Sins a little bit. I yeah. Like the vibe you're giving, like, you know, what you wanna do, you you're not getting off. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, maybe that's what his devil fruit is. Maybe his mm-hmm. devil and since he's a o- Ushi Oni and it revolves around the yokai. It would make sense that his devil fruit power is similar to something like that. Mm. I think it's just like crazy to think that a devil fruit can have a negative effect on hockey, as in like, because that's never been the case. You know what right. I mean? Like yeah. the hockey always has been the solution mm-hmm. for the devil fruit. So I think that's crazy. Like if that's to, what's really to going. flip it on yeah, his head. Yeah, I, I feel like mm. a devil fruit to be so powerful to counter like what your hockey is trying to do is like that's crazy. You know bro, we I mean? in the end game, bro. Exactly. It's, it's time mm-hmm. to have those kind mm-hmm. of things yeah. pop out, right? Man. Um, next, hold on, hold on. can yeah, I just yeah, say go. one more thing? We cannot keep disrespecting Kazaro like that. <laughs> Yo, he got packed, bro. Hold on, bro. He had Luffy in a few moments where I said, "Is Luffy okay?" There's a couple times I was like, "Where'd he go?" Like he got black. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought Luffy. I thought for the most part, Kazaro was winning the fight. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then when yes, when he got the move off, he got packed. And then you know what I'm saying? But I thought it was a it was a, a good fight. I thought he was Listen, in there. I thought he was in the game. Sunday. You know I'm well, I've argued with dudes since forever, right? <laughs> Argue with dudes since forever. Mm-hmm. Marco fighting Kazaru, right? Mm-hmm. The second his eyes got averted, mm-hmm. the fight was over. Mm-hmm. Joe's fighting mm-hmm. Aokiji. Mm-hmm. Second his eyes got averted, the fight mm-hmm. was over. I didn't think the gap in power between Admirals and Yonkos was going to be that. I, I thought I we had some circumstantial it. stuff with a Kainu and, and Whitebeard, right? So when Kazaru averted his eyes and Luffy swings on him, mm-hmm. and now he out here Zoro and Valentum up, yeah. mm-hmm. 
Nah, bro. <laughs> I do, I do, I do agree that I've Shit, always been nah. a, 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 a pro that the Yonkers are significantly stronger. I just think that you know, uh, Kazar. I felt like Kazar was doing his thing, and I do think it was a lot of. It's always circumstantial, like when you have everybody involved around you. Because obviously, if you always take these situations and do one v ones, they can end up differently. But everybody has a mission, right? Everybody's trying. Luffy's trying to save his people. Kazaro's like bypassing Luffy, trying to go straight for Vegapunk. So I, I can see that sometimes one v ones. Of course, I'll still take Luffy, but Pact is like a very strong. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a very strong word, and I feel like the damage that Luffy had did take. And you know, tired out. Like you know, even when he was done with Kaido, at least he was like, "All right, I'm still kind of you feel me. I'm still like, I, I'm gonna go sit down now and and, and drink some Gatorade." <laughs> right now, he is like, "God dang, sorry, that's my fault." God no. darn, like uh, <laughs> Luffy, like Kazaro was like making this hard. Like this is not. This is really like, you know, Mission Impossible. Yeah, it wasn't an easy pack, mm-hmm. but it's a pack. Sundays. Why you have an so, easy pack? It's not an easy pack. What's a pack? Listen, bro. Uh-huh. It, he he is over. <laughs> it's a pack, it's over, bro. bro. It's over, bro. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I agree. Definitely. Kaido got back up. Bro. Yeah, for you to get oh. hit and not get back up is is serious. Kaido sure. would have got up from that. Big Mom would have got up from Kyle, that. Kyle Yo, put it this way. Mm-hmm. Kaido was also holding up like a building and fought for like a building. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my bad, an island. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, so Dude, we want to go circumstance. Yeah. Like Kazaro ain't doing none of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. But Kyle he is really fast, bro, and cool. Yeah, bro. he dope. Strong. I, I did think him flying to the outside of the island, coming back yeah, in. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. No, he like that. Yeah, he just cool, not like bro. that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've yeah. been saying it, bro. A kind of all day, though. He going eventually. Now, kind of might be the same <laughs> way. Oh, no. Nah, I've always thought that kind of was, if 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 Kazara was getting packed, a kind of, he's next. Damn. He's next, yeah. for sure. Nah. Is a kind of all pack watch now? It's different. It's different. Honestly. Damn. It I, I, c- I, I, real quick, mm-hmm. it could be, I don't want to throw Blackbeard's frame to this because I kind of feel like he was capping a little bit, but they are loggers and they're admiral level. There's not many people that can really, you know, fight them. So them taking damage is probably super rare. So they're probably not he's used not to just not used yeah, to yeah, getting yeah. in the paws yeah. like that. So when and then the hype, he's not up. Like, yeah. They don't really practice it like that. You so know. when you get hit, y'all being disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm, I call, I'm calling it. Sabo's going to be the one. Oh, no. Please, All right. no. All right. We're going to move on. <laughs> so, please, no. Uh, I did notice that, that Luffy was bleeding when Frankie punched him. Mm-hmm. I think this is showing that awakenings have a major drawback. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You revert back to a regular person once it's all used up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't think Frankie was using hockey. I think he just punched yeah. Luffy, and right. Luffy not being rubber anymore led mm-hmm. him to being hurt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can see that, actually. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. So when I noticed, I was like, hey, yo. I was like, no way Frankie punched him, and he got he started bleeding. Like, right, yeah. Do you think that's just because of Luffy, how strong Luffy's awakening is? Because I feel like even with Katakuri and uh, uh, Don Flamingo, I felt like, mm. you know. The difference in those situations, one, mm. Luffy's a mythical zone, right, where mm. it's like he has access to a higher level of power than they did. Mm. And two, like, they had mastery. Of their awakenings yeah. to a point where they yeah. they've been they could use it for hours on end right, without yeah. issue. Mm-hmm. Luffy gassing out when he's thugging for ten minutes yeah. or longer. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. So I think there's there's this. Okay, got you, got yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I agree. So that that was crazy, and it's funny that the word fate comes up with Saturn because mm-hmm. he's like, "Yo, I look forward to Bonnie and Luffy's fate if they're able to escape from this." So it shows some like direct correlation with Blackbeard and his crew and them always involving themselves on fate. Because if you look at the chapter or the anime when he versed Magellan and then got one shot with the whole crew, mm. and then afterwards he thought that they were just gonna perish. Like that was the end of their 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 journey. Mm-hmm. Shiryu comes through and gives them the poison. And then the re- like I think it was Lafitte Lafitte that comes up and he goes, Yo, this is fate. And then Van Auger is like, yo, this is fate. Mm-hmm. And then Blackbeard's like, yo, our journey is meant to continue. Right. It shows that there is some type of fate perspective that Saturn and Nagorose might have. So they're like, yeah, Luffy's probably going to get out of here and Bonnie too. But like, if they do, I look forward to what's going to happen next. Mm-hmm. And that means that makes them a little bit more endgame opponent than I actually thought they were. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of crazy to me. 
So seems like fate is a uh, Otis playing around with the fate. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just to, I don't like the whole um, aspect of that, but the kind of like further your point. The you I noticed that the Marines mostly use this phrase, and I seen it with and the world government too because they use it with Sabo and they use it with uh, law, and it's usually they kind of set around people who have like the D in their name. Mm-hmm. Are there, they have a checkered fate, whatever that means. But mm-hmm. they'll use that phrase. That's true, too. Sengoku um, pointed it out, too, to law. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the, the phrase that was it Van Auger specifically used was that we're at a crossroads of fate, right? yeah. which I think Otis played up a little bit with Ace, even, even beyond just Luffy. So mm-hmm. things could go either way, but it's that crossroads of fate. It's where, a grand idea that Otis has that we just have to see how this blends out now. Because yeah. yeah. if like, fate truly is in it, then all this is happening according to plan. Yeah. Like, is there like some type of so that, that's the thing, though. Yeah. But that that's why I think arcs like uh, Whole Cake are important, where it's like, okay, the future is supposed to be predetermined, right? Like you can see it, but if I act to stop it With or Katakuri. change it, yeah. Like if I if my will is strong enough, I can change even the future that's predetermined for me. That's a great so point. That's why arcs like that are supposed to exist before you get into the real. And then right? it points out that will can conquer even devil fruits because that's mm-hmm. what Kaido said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's what I want to bring out too is like why I guess the conquerors matters because they say you're they're like the chosen ones. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're the ones that kind of can change the outlook of things. Not Don Chinjao, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Don Chinjao wasn't changing nothing, bro. Of Don are, y'all, uh, are y'all like the advocates of your conquerors hockey is chosen beforehand, or you worked to develop your hockey to maybe a conquerors level? Mm. I believe you got to be born with it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm one of the people that think that. Um, how do I say this? It can be unlocked. Okay. I think you do need to be born yeah. with it, but I think mm. there's there's a there's more people born with it that just never unlock it than mm. we than we think. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? Got you. Mm. But he both. Yeah. I agree with both. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I had I had just did a video where we were giving random anime characters conquerors hockey, mm-hmm. and we were trying to figure out if it was actually based off y'all's uh, podcast. I had uh, played your clip in the beginning. Mm. Um, okay. And I was like, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Uh, Maybe you have to, you know, because Zoro, he said, well, I got it, so now what? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, hey. Batman would have it, yo. Batman would have it. Yeah. Really? I'm yeah. not be hating on him, but yeah, he'd, he'd, be, he'd, he'd be a conqueror. He would. Yeah. Okay, okay. I feel like it follows certain characteristics. I want to make, like, something on it, kind of explaining my understanding of it. You ain't making it, bro. <laughs> you better stop lying to these people. <laughs> yo, so inspirational for uh, uh, everybody. <laughs> But as soon as the twins is like, yo, I'm going to do this, he's like, no nah. no faith, no belief, no nothing. Bro. Y'all ain't doing that. There's hundreds of people watching. <laughs> hearing you about to say that and waiting on the video and it's never going to happen, He was about bro. to cap Matt Hart. Capper, bro. The six I, lot of time. I believe, I believe in you, bro. <laughs> you don't know Thank you. you. I appreciate that. All right. <laughs> let's let's read like four super chats and then we'll go back into the chapter. All right. I got to find where I'm at. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. We got two from Terrence Matthews. It says, time for the God Knights to shine. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We got another 10 from Shabazz Clark. It says, first time seeing you guys live. Been watching you for months. Love oh, wow. to see a band of brothers come together and do something great. Hey, Thank you. Appreciate Larry that. does have some wild takes. Oh, my but God. But put some respect on his name. Hey. hey. Let's, let's go. go. Let's respect that him. Yeah. Right. Larry saw that super chat. That's why he wanted me to read it. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't see the super chat. I don't I'm got my kidding, phone. bro. Oh, my we got another two from Spencer Jones. It says, she's going to look like a granny at 20, a monster granny at 25. Ew, man, don't wish that on. Talking about the bluegrass <laughs> and the rye rye fruit. Still clapping. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we got another <laughs> seven from King SSD. It says, not a Sanji fan, but the way Oda is treating him hurts the... Qu- Hurts the core of my soul. Biggest disservice to his character, and don't get me started on Zolo. Hashtag Oda mm. L. Um, I was actually gonna mention that. I forgot. I think we even talked I, about it. Like yeah. I said, this is how Oda writes with Sanji. He uses him as a hype tool for the big I was, bad. I just, was super disappointed. It's what he do. I was super disappointed about, I, Sa- about Sanji. Yeah, I don't. He I still don't, has time. It's not even about time. I just feel like I, I don't think his character deserves to be played in that way. Yeah. Even if it is Saturn, that was just he, – he got one shot too, bro. Like, he wasn't getting back up. Yeah, he had the hand on the, on the head. Yeah, too, he man. was coughing. Like, like, I, like nah, bro, because I don't see that happen to Zoro or Yamato or, or Luffy. Like, I don't, like, I'm not saying that Sanji's in that category. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that Sanji has enough importance, and plus there's nobody else there to protect him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. the only guy. I think yeah. I'm glad we got the Frankie moment, but if you're gonna have Sanji go out like that, you could have had him had the, that kind of moment first. 
Yeah. You know, just like, okay, at least I saved Luffy. And then I get beat. In this case, it's like, yo, Bonnie got yoked, and I tried to do something, I couldn't do nothing. And this, you the know? Po- and, the, and the point, too, is like, all right, he's unlocked his crazy amount of speed, he can go mm-hmm. invisible, but like, why didn't why didn't he do that against somebody that he knows is incredibly strong? Yeah, and that makes me frustrated because yeah. I'm like, damn, mm-hmm. like he Why saw yeah. he saw Bonnie get hit and hurt, and he yeah. still chose to just call out her name and just like run. But he didn't super speed run, like he didn't turn invisible or land a shot on Saturn. But you let Bonnie just stab Saturn, just mm-hmm. because he like what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like let Sanji kick him in the face. Like that's yeah. cool to me. Mm-hmm. 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 Get the shot off and then put him down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. Well, yeah. Did we talk about what happened to Jimmy? Where's Jimmy at? <laughs> Jimmy chilling, bro. <laughs> see, they wild. He said, like, "Hey, yo." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, where's Jimmy? Is he he, he gonna business, come through bro. and save the day, bro. Yeah, uh, there's probably hopefully. like extra powers against Fishman when Saturn moves around. Yeah. He's like, "Yo, <laughs> he's like I'm super racist." It's not time the, to show Sanji up. Nah, the, <laughs> the Fishman probably got some specific like capability against the the Gorosei. Probably, you know, key. yeah. That's why they be hating so hard. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That'd be interesting. A, yeah, we got another five from Holland. A uh, hammer of God Usopp. It says Holland is technically a part of the Netherlands, and yes, we are famous for cheese, among other things. Uh, yes, we are all watching on the events projector. Uh, yeah, I hope you That's so crazy. That's, That's awesome. That's, That's kind of crazy. crazy. Yeah. That's, fine. That's dope. Uh, we got another Appreciate ten that. from Yam one three three three. It says, "Who's the top three to five contenders for the One Piece? Do you see the Straw Hats taking a major L again, like Sabodi in his final saga, or no?" Lastly. Who do you think? Who, There's a lot of questions, yeah, bro. Who you think will get the next power up out of the Straw Hats and what? That's a lot, bro. Um, yeah, this is a lot. Contenders for One Piece: Shanks, Blackbeard, Luffy, Buggy. Buggy, yeah, probably in that order. Just a appease y'all, Mihawk. <laughs> Mihawk and I'm, specific. And I'm, and I'm not even being serious, but I'm gonna just say it just so you can feel good. I mean, we talking about fate. Buggy gotta have the best fate in the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. Yeah. We got one directed at you, Sunday. What are we talking about? $2 from Jason Craig. It says, Don't slander my dude Fuji Tar. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't man. like that, that man. They ain't like that. They ain't like that. All um, right. One more, and then we'll go back in. Yeah, we got another uh, eight from Mugio Sosa. It says, Ready for Larry to speak some facts today. Hashtag International Larry. <laughs> hey. hey, I like that one. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go and continue with the chapter, guys. So, next we see Saturn ask everyone who wants to join, uh, who wants to pass away first. He wants to know from least to most painful. He doesn't understand why humans resist. Sanji wants to know why they feel held down. And Vegapunk says it has to be his devil fruit. Bonnie says that Saturn murked her pops. He says that Kumo is born a slave. And he's from a people who commuted... Uh, who committed a grave crime against the world. He's the last survivor of the extinct Buccaneer people. Vegapunk is quite shocked at this revelation. Bonnie remembers Kuma talking to her about how, since he was a boy, he wanted to be a person who could save the imprisoned and suffering, just like Nika the Warrior of Liberation. Saturn holds Bonnie up high and tells Marines to aim for the head. Mm. Bonnie remembers questioning who Nika is, and Kuma starts to dance, in the same position that Nika is shown in silhouettes. And Nika, uh, and Ku- he says, appears from blue with laughter and rhythm. Sanji screams out to leave Bonnie alone, and Vegapunk says, she's just a kid. Bonnie remembers asking Kuma if he will come free her too, and he says, of course. And then we'll start with the boy Sundays. Man, that boy Saturn cold, man. That boy, <laughs> yeah, I, I, cold. my heart dropped when he said that. Who wanna, who wanna go first? <laughs> Least to most people. I said, who is this man? I didn't know he was getting this brutal. Like, I, I, I thought we were all. It was all political and all, you know. Uh, uh, it was all nothing personal. But he said, no, it's, it's personal. It's <laughs> personal. I'm not rocking with none of y'all. Um, I mean, again, Sanji, yes. <laughs> Yelling for help, I can't. It's hurting my spirit, man. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to like, come on, get in there, something. Hoping somebody does something, but I mean, at the end of the day, what can you do, man? You know, I, I mean, it, for me, it was just I now see that the Gorsei are, you know, there's a reason probably why even the Celestial Dragons and everybody are just, you know, all scum because. 
the cats that are leading everybody else are really no different. They like you would think they may just have a little bit more like agenda, a little bit more mind, like focused. They're not just taking advantage of all the power and stuff. But like no, they're all just you know ter- mm-hmm. terrible people. Like they're all just terrible <laughs> folks. So I don't know. It just it's hard wrenching, man. That's this just how I felt about it. I was like, dang. Mm-hmm. I hope I hope she don't go out like this. You but, imagine. Yeah, yeah so, that'd, that'd be the, that'd crazy. probably be the darkest panel in yeah. OP history, bro. Yeah, that so, would be crazy. Yeah, so, I wouldn't expect it. I wouldn't expect Ola to go that route. Like yeah, that. so uh, yeah, I don't know, man. All right. Yeah, that's me. Mm-hmm. Seb. All right, so one, um, and it's funny you talked about it, like the how evil he actually is, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't know why it surprised me a little bit, but it did. Yeah. Because I mm-hmm. feel like when we went back to O'Hara when we first see the girl say, they didn't seem right overly evil. They had like regret for what they felt they needed to do mm-hmm. to preserve their status. Yeah, exactly. This guy don't yeah, he, show none of that. That's what he I'm don't, saying. That's he, what I'm saying. He talking about laying, run it down, what's the order, Yeah, aim for the head, all that. So maybe he's just really upset. Maybe he's really mad that he's, he has to be down here with these people and fight. But, like, I'm not seeing any remorse. I'm not seeing any regret. I'm not seeing any sort of, like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's kind of crazy to me. Also, something I meant to bring up earlier is that, like, yo, he didn't even read the scouting report on the Straw Hats. He said, oh, you're a crew that cooperates? Like, oh, bruh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> For bro, real? Yeah, like, read right. the scouting report, bro. If you're going to come out here. It's not um, even that. It's like, yo, they went to go save so- like Robin. Robin. <laughs> like, come on, bro. It's like, this is why the girls say be sucking, bro. Hey, yo, <laughs> read the scouting report, bro. Shane's getting handed dossiers on kid. And you can't even do can't, a little scouting report on Luffy? Come on, man. Um... Overall, the, the Buccaneer race thing was very interesting. Mm-hmm. Immediately, yeah. I thought, too, the three races that Big Mom doesn't have on her island. Yep. So, Buccaneer is that third race. Lunarian was the other one, and Giant is the, the first third, one. Yeah. So, those are the three. I was very interested to hear that he said that Kuma's the last surviving of this race, mm-hmm. even though you're holding his alleged daughter. Yeah. So, is she not of this race? Is that not Kuma's actual mm. daughter? I think Bonnie is a clone theory. Just shot up. The stocks on that just went up mm. really high. Could be an adoptive situation. That's very common in One Piece. But given the nature of this arc, the fact that she's connected to Egg- Egghead and Kuma and Vegapunk, etc., the fact that they keep calling her a kid, um, very possible it's not Kuma's actual daughter. Although, mm-hmm. something at the end of the chapter might change that too. So, I don't know. I, I really don't yeah. know. Um, overall, I love, again, I do love seeing how evil Saturn is. You know what I mean? I love seeing evil personified on screen. Mm-hmm. And that aim for the headline was was vile, bro. Yeah, see? that was crazy. Like, we got dudes calling out, yo, she's just a kid, man. Chill out. Sandy screaming, not doing nothing. Um, <laughs> just rough. And then I like, I like, so I like that Kuma has the story of Nika, right? But it's mm-hmm. got me thinking, did he know this about Luffy? when he started doing the things mm. for the Straw Hats? Mm-hmm. Or is it just yeah. a coincidence? I was thinking about that. Too. Because, like, you know me. I, I, I'm cool with fate. I'm cool with destiny a little bit, right? I don't like it being super preordained. Mm-hmm. So, like, if Kuma knew the whole time Luffy was Joy Boy and that this is why he did the things he did, I don't know that I would like that. Mm-hmm. I would prefer it be a coincidence. The same yeah. way I would prefer Shanks give, giving Luffy eating the devil fruit as a coincidence. Yeah. Every, I think every time we go down this road, it's starting to look more and more like it's not a coincidence, which I'm not saying it scares me or even bothers me. It's just not how I would prefer it. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting, though. I, I like that, you know, clearly we get more into Kuma's backstory after this, but knowing what I know now about Kuma, him telling this to her is, like, even more, like, deep, dark, you know? Like, kind of like, damn, like, Mm. He he probably really believes this because of what we'll see later. Mm. It also had me thinking about who's who. Because right. who told him, right? So apparently this Buccaneer race talks about this yeah. person. Yeah. Talks about Nika. Was there a Buccaneer that freed who's who or talked mm. was it was it Kuma? Potentially even. I doubt that, but I don't know. It it had me thinking, like, yo, who gave who's who this information? Was it a buccaneer? Was it some legendary buccaneer that was working with the government at some point? I don't know. I thought it was just talked about through the slaves. He he heard mm-hmm. about it, yeah. but but he wasn't a slave, right? He was in prison or on his way to prison, whatever it was. But it's like one of the guards talked to Who's Who about it. Yeah. Mm. So it's like yeah, that's true. If the Nika person again, that's deeper into the flashback or whatever. But 
if that's who that is, or who, that's uh, something that's talked about within this race specifically, who was talking to who's who and why? <laughs> but it's just my mind was racing with. That. I think it works like telephone, right? Yeah. Just yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. like who's who yeah. asks Jimbe about it. Yeah. So how does Jimbe know mm-hmm. if who's who is not a buccaneer? Mm-hmm. So I think it's just a, a myth right. passed around people who are suffering. Yeah, sure. I say the uh, myth of oppression. You know, everybody yeah. going through it. Somebody got to They're all looking for that light. Yeah, they're all looking for that light. Just like singing mm-hmm. in like the mm-hmm. cotton fields. And stuff. But just to add on to it. <laughs> what's going on? Savvy. That was wild. <laughs> that's oh, why that was wild. I, that's why they were. That said. was wild. That's why they were. Yo, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I'm saying like <laughs> it's it's the same way you give each other hope. I mean, Mark, yeah, you ain't just play way in the water, bro. I ain't just here way in the water just now. The All spirituals right. of uh, Bro, what are you talking the, about? <laughs> should I say the, the Nika spirituals? The Nika spirituals is crazy. Oh my god, why did I say that? That was an introvert thought. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. Uh, but that's it for me. Yeah? Law? Um, where do we start? Yeah. So I actually wanted to comment on, um, we talking about the thing that's holding them down, right? <laughs> they make me lose my chance though, man. <laughs> you know what this reminded me of? Yeah. Remember in Bleach? Right, uh, when someone would release their reishi or pressure, mm-hmm. and it would hold them down. I always thought that was like one of the coolest things yeah. in uh, Bleach that they had that feature. Mm-hmm. Right, if it was like you weren't on their level or your like humor or whatever, right, the person's pressure or reishi from their power, mm-hmm. you weren't even able to stand in like their presence. Right. I remember when, for example, when Ichigo first met um, Rukia's like brother, I guess Byakuya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember his name is mm-hmm. Ichigo was like was like face down to the floor. Yeah. And you couldn't even see Miyake's <laughs> face because his... That sounded crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to find How did this... Yo, pause, bro. Yeah, I got to keep it clean <laughs> in y'all heads. I, I don't like know. Like the stream, yo. <laughs> yeah, if y'all haven't liked the stream, like the stream <laughs> for the boys. Like the stream. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all right. But I thought it was here, like how... At that time, the difference between Byaka and Ichigo was so strong that he couldn't even stand up in his presence, right? Yeah. So this would kind of remind me of that. So, again, we don't know if it's part of his ability or his hockey or whatever, but he's just able to hold down, like, three uh, Sanji, Ve- uh, Vekapunk, and um, Frankie, just holding down in their position where they can't do anything with whatever force he's using. Mm-hmm. Right? And y'all, y'all tripping. Y'all didn't see... The Gorose being evil from the get? No, no. I, I'm not I, saying... I knew they I were going to be evil, like right? That. But there seemed to be some level of nuance like to Like cruel? Yeah, like he he's I, like sadistic at this point. You know what I mean? I saw this from there's the There's handling business because you need to. And there's like, yo... Enjoy, enjoying the business. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little, it's, it's it just little. it just always seems like their conversations are very yeah. like mission focused. They're always That's like, true. okay, this is... That's the very plan, true. The well, plan, the plan, and but now he's like, nah. Uh-huh. <laughs> there, there's a crossroads of fate. Well, th- we have to figure out what the next plan option is. Blah blah. Mm-hmm. Yo, Shanks, you can talk to us. You're one of yeah. like that. All is happening, <laughs> but then when it's time to get down, they get down, down. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's just because you know. I also thought like I was like, is this just like a Luffy vendetta? Like, do they just yeah. not like this guy because they know who he is? Like, maybe they, maybe some of them even knew. Mm-hmm. You know the original. I mean, I mean, I, I can't. I'm, obviously, I don't think they're that old. But I don't know if maybe they had their own beef with the original Sun God, and now it's like, you know, Luffy, huh, we're getting, we're getting you real bad. I'm like, that's mm-hmm. just terrible. He's no. like the hedonism bot from Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that's Nika. Yo, that would be—he'd be my favorite character, bro. <laughs> All right, come on. My yeah, bad. But I was saying, but yeah, I guess no. I get you guys are saying. I guess the reason why I always saw it is because, like, for example, with uh, O'Hara, right? Mm -hmm. It was like they were in the. They kind of view those people kind of like somewhat like they knew them and like friends, but they didn't care. As soon as it affects them, it's like cut all ties with that. Mm -hmm. That's how Dolphy was, you know? Cut all. It doesn't matter how our relationship, if we knew. Vegabunk, even still, works with them, like, for how long, you know? As soon as he starts stepping out of line, get rid of him. Mm -hmm. No questions asked. Just they want hearing them out. Nothing. It's just like we take care of business, and this is what we do. You affect us. So it goes into like what he said. Like they view again how high they are. But he says you humans. So they're separating themselves from the people who they view as humans. It's like exactly. you humans always rebel or always go after something that we're forbidding. Yeah, you like know? Adam and Eve, man. <laughs> we're not starting this. Right? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I can't wish that. Yeah, tripping. Bruh. You don't want to hear their take on the whole, anyway. But, <laughs> oh, I want. I want to hear it. <laughs> Let's get to him. What are you talking about? We'll do it. We'll do it. Y'all would have folded too, man. 
<laughs> yeah, we would, we'll talk about it after. Gotcha. <laughs> we'll they, they, they wild. They wild. But yeah, it shows like again how they view it. But like, and I guess to point where like they're getting so fed up, right? There's like. Kind of like we're going to make an example out of you, you know? Because also, too, the Marines are, like, here and are showing you, know, this is what happens when you guys step out of what we say is forbidden, you know? Mm. We say you guys got to stay in this lane, and you guys even go get curious to go outside there. You know, but nah, you guys went, f- like them, they went further than being curious. You guys are legit rebelling against us, so. They you know, became convinced. <laughs> 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 I guess I'm using certain words because you're you, you crazy. And so to me, that like aim for the head, I was just like, because also, too, we notice a thing that Oda always does, right? What does he do? All right. And he, <laughs> <laughs> Stop. All right. Always when it comes to like um, going, <laughs> fighting against the big bad, he kind of builds up how evil they are. Yeah. Right? We've seen it from time and time again. From the beginning, right? He starts stacking on like this person is this evil, this evil, and he keeps showing how what they've done in the past, what they're doing now, to like you grow to like say this person Luffy needs to take out now. From the beginning of the show, he's always when he built up the the person, the, the villain or whatever mm-hmm. that Luffy has to take out, whatever. He always shows them in a way like it's never oh you kind of feel for that side, you're gonna understand what they're doing. Like I can relate. Like no, these people are evil. They're affecting so many different lives. They're completely selfish. They don't care about anyone else. They just care about their own agenda and who it affects. He's he paints them as such an evil villain, and that's what I'm getting. At what he's seeing what we're for one Gorosei, and it's not even Eve who's going to be where he's kind of building up to be even more evil than them. Mm-hmm. Right. So to me, it's like all this they're showing us is adding to like like in a way their own story that he's building around the Gorosei or the, the Sub Dragons of how and even further on when we see the later on in the chapter just how. They don't really don't care about anyone else and how, again, how high they view themselves and how low they view humans and they don't, they just disregard their lives, you know? And um, the Buccaneer thing, like, again, it's, it's interesting because now it goes into, again, another, we find out another race that they took out during, I guess, the war or I don't, maybe, we don't know exactly when, but the Lunarians, you know, the because they call it the Buccaneers a clan, right? So the Buccaneer clan, the Lunarian race, the D clan, Right, the ancient kingdom. They also fought with the Shandorians and maybe even the Shimosuke in Wano. So there's a lot of people in this war that took place here that these twenty kingdoms kind of attacked, addressing. So like the it just shows the um the, the, how interesting this war because we don't know if it was a hundred year war because we know the war century is those a hundred years. So eight hundred years ago was like kind of the end is when they ruled. So we don't know if they were like picking at it or it was one big war that it's happened a hundred years. So this is getting interesting. The, the story is building up behind that void century is crazy. Right. And, um, for Bonnie, like you guys said, for, uh, her, like how just like, uh, she should be the last one, but he doesn't, she doesn't really have the big body that, that he does. Right. Mm-hmm. So it could be like, I don't know if it like didn't hit her generation or if he like, it really is, or maybe, it just got diluted through the different generations, or because she, she's not, like, no, because Kuma's not full fledged either, Buccaneer. Yeah. But, well, the chick um, from Water Seven, the conductor, mm-hmm. she's a fisherman. She had a daughter. That yeah. daughter had feet, right. but she's still part fisherman. fisherman. Right. So I would say the same thing about, about Bonnie. Bonnie right? She's still part Buccaneer. That's true. So yeah, it's interesting. Um, I think that's all I have now. So we can half go breed. No, I'm <laughs> Stop. Mud <laughs> blood. <laughs> 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 what? Um, so for me, I think Saturn might think dra- uh, celestial dragons that are under them are also insects. Mm. Um, I don't think this plays into the fact of uh, them being non-human. I don't think that they're actual demons or anything like that. I think yeah. everybody's running with this idea that Oda is really putting demons into One Piece. Yeah, no. He would never do that. Uh, I could tell you that straight up. I, I really just think that they think that they're so above other people right. that exactly. they view others like mm-hmm. this. Yes. Um. So Buccaneer is defined as like a pirate originally off the Spanish um, yeah. Yeah. American coast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a football team. Here, here's an interesting <laughs> idea. I think... Maybe they were the first people to seek freedom, and they thought the idea of freedom was via piracy. Mm. And this Mm. is why the show is based around pirates, because Oda and his outlook on life believe that the most freedom is being able to travel anywhere, being able to eat anything you want, Mm -hmm. and to discover and go on adventures as you please, right? Mm. Who embodies that? 
Luffy. The pirates, yeah. So it's like, I think their greatest crime was that they wanted freedom, and what's the most dangerous thing to a dictatorship? Freedom. Mm -hmm. And revolution. And revolution. The the idea of revolution. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... I think when the you know when they were doing their thing during the ancient times, it was like, yo, we're building this dictatorship. Like, yo, you guys want to come in it? Emu was like, yeah, people, you know, different, you know, and they linked up the twenty kingdoms and did what they had to do. But in turn, they also destroyed a bunch of people. Lunarians, they destroyed the Buccaneers. The giants are over here. The minks are over there. The Fishman Island people are under there. It's like all these groups that are non non human don't mess with humans. Yeah. So I think what ended up happening was the Buccaneers were the shining hope of that freedom. They taught people, like, this is how you truly engage in freedom. This is the idea of freedom that we've come up with. And since the definition of a Buccaneer is a pirate, I, see, I, th- I feel like that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The first pirates. The yeah, first pirates. pirates. Essentially, they're the yeah. first pirates. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like the first men in Game of Thrones. It's like them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's probably... But it's their crime, like you said, that they started it, and then mm-hmm. everyone started picking up afterwards. And they probably got influenced by Nika because he was so free, mm-hmm. thinking for themselves. And I'll, I'll hit it in the next uh, subject that we're going to get into. Yeah. But what makes this even crazier is that, um, damn, I just forgot what I was going to say. I was just going to say, you, you got, you got, oh, go ahead, my phone. No, no, you go. Oh, no, I was just, uh, my brain was working as you were saying that. It's making me think, like, dang, if they were the first pirates, then... What if they like brought the One Piece to where it mm. was? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if this is the reason like they were taken out because they had started, like he said, started that journey. But you know, obviously there has to be more. Like, why is all these races just mm-hmm. getting ex- exterminated? And it, it, it's got to be either all one reason or just everybody's got a different reason for getting exterminated. So I don't know. You, you know, it's just got me thinking. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's pretty. It's pretty. I don't know why I came up with that idea, but I was like, I love know, it. Like that's yeah, crazy. That's, yeah. that's a dope. But one. you know, oh, I just remembered. You want to know why that might be the case? Because we've seen the Gorosei wipe out a whole island just for learning how to read something. Mm-hmm. So it's a simple idea, but it it was so detrimental to their rule that they were like something as little as that we have to take out anyway. Mm-hmm. Like you can't know information. That's it. Yeah. So you can't feel freedom. That's it. Mm-hmm. It. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna, it's going to get even crazier in a Kuma flashback that we're about to talk about, but right, yeah. Right. And just to I'll, further, I'll add on to it. Just to further that, I just want to add, because if you think about it, and they kind of show you been showing us what the girls say, is that because part of the freedom is thinking for yourself, mm-hmm. yeah. right? And that's why they show so much propaganda where, like, no, we're going to make you believe that Gold Roger was this vicious, evil person, that mm-hmm. he was, like, a demon, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. Because And uh, they're hiding names. They're hiding on stuff because they don't want you thinking for yourself because when you start thinking for yourself... It's going to lead to you wanting to be free because yeah. you're going to start thinking different from what they're they're feeding you. They did it with Kuma. Yeah. They made him yeah. a tyrant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. World government, top yeah. five oppressors of uh, fiction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Top five. Oh, man, I have to think about that. Top five oppressors of fiction? I don't know, man. 800 years is a long time. <laughs> That's a long <laughs> yeah, time, bro. Yeah. yeah, we talking about all fiction, though, bro. This, like, you're Galactus right. exists. Right. Yeah. You're right, you're right. <laughs> I mean, like, you're right, it's fiction. What's up? Well, maybe anime, don't make, don't anime make, for Don't sure. colonizers. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's read, like, four Super Chats, and then we'll go back into the chat. Uh, well, uh, let me know if you need to use the bathroom, too, bro. I was going to say, is that... Uh, Mark, that, you know what? Do? Let's take a sponsorship break, guys, and then we'll come right back. Apologies. Mm-hmm. We just want to take a little break, all right? Yeah. Be right back. This episode right. is sponsored by BetterHelp. Have you been struggling lately? Maybe having difficulty sleeping, struggling with a relationship, or suffering from low self-esteem? Listen, I've been there. We have been there. If so, then today's BetterHelp wants to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained and here to help you out. Talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your own convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire, and it's as simple as that, guys, to help with your specific needs and then get you matched with a therapist under 48 hours. After that, you schedule a secure video or phone session. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages, and everything you share is confidential. We signed up for different reasons, and to be honest, it's legit. It helped us out a ton. You can request a different therapist at any point with no additional charge anytime. 
Join the two plus million people who took charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. This offer goes out to all our That One Piece Talk Nakama. You get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash T-O-P-T. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash T-O-P-T. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. Are we back? Yeah, we're back now. Sunday's in there taking a deuce. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Uh, right. we, we did get another uh, three-month membership to Nakama status from Anthony's crew. It says, Fuji way stronger than Green Bull. Green Bull most underrated. Shaking my head. I, I think Green Bull is underrated nowadays, man. Yeah. Most. I wouldn't say, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you been getting hated on a little bit. We got another five from Nika Dakota. It says, sorry, I'm late, boys. How's y'all days going? Really good. We got Sundays in here. You're not here right now, but yeah, we, here. it's going good. We got another five from Anthony Herrera. It says, yo, boys, just got out of <laughs> Udon, but here with the gang gang. Much love for all of y'all and the great new guest. Lawrence put some respect on his name. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> oh, man. What are you talking about? I don't know. I guess he's saying shout out to you. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? <laughs> we got another five from Mahmoud Farhoud. It says, just to clarify, just because I find a woman hot doesn't mean I would bang. Women I would bang. Robin, Boa, Hiori, and Viola. You ain't now, nah, bro. Mahmoud. Suspect, dog. FBI. <laughs> FBI. <laughs> we love you, bro. We love you. FBI, <laughs> right, another five from Anthony Herrera. says, yo, what's up with the Fuji hate? Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, man. I do not hate Fuji, man. I just am not a fan. I'm just not a fan, bro. I, 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 I'm sorry. You don't got to defend yourself. You just like, yeah. he, he needs to do better. I you know? We got another five from Nika Dakota. It says, Massa is crazy. Yeah, Lawrence is wilding out, wildin bro. Lawrence is wilding with that, bro. I mean, Nika Spirituals is also pretty wild. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think somebody should trade like that. And, uh, put that on a shirt. That's what they're doing, though. I'm not going to lie. Would, you put it on a shirt. You got merch? <laughs> I'm getting merch. canceled immediately. As soon as that, no, I'm, I'm rocking a Nika Spirituals shirt. Yeah, I, it would go mad hard, bro. I'll do the beat. The shirt got to be black, too. Got to be black. Just the silhouette. Breaking chains. And he got chains breaking. He got chains breaking. Got chains breaking. Yeah. Like a, Get some help. <laughs> catch a free man. Wow. <laughs> like a and black out fat man. Like a fly. He got trapezius muscles. Underwater. <laughs> Under. All right, my bad. All right. All right. Uh, one more. Uh, yeah. We got another two from Mr. Madness. It says, you think Zoe and Dove Fruits were figures that have existed? Um, like the mythicals, I assume. Um, they kind of have to be considering that. I'm, I'm just kind of confused on what are the myths that everyone is getting. Like, because when you think about it, like, even when you have like Marco or whoever, it's like, what type of religion are mm. we? Do we have in this world to There's where we a... still have like a phoenix, but then we also have a a sun god, but then we also have a, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, what? Where are we getting this from? You know what I mean? Like, so... what history? That, that's real. That's a good question. I mean, just like real life, One Piece is it's mm -hmm. has depth, right? So there's probably several religions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We saw people worshiping other gods and things yeah. in the mm -hmm. past. So if somebody, there probably is a section of people that have a, a sort of like Greek mythology situation yeah. going on where they prayed to a phoenix or yeah. they believed mm -hmm. in the the existence of a phoenix right. and birthed the devil birthed fruit, the yeah. devil fruit because yeah. they wanted it to exist or yeah. in their time or whatever and honestly yeah. and back in history you go to like you look up like uh, the city of Babylon mm -hmm. it was called Babylon the Great it had such a different diverse of different religions where people were worshipping of any god they could think of mm -hmm. so they were kind of just creating their own gods and just worshipping them Yeah. so there's probably like over in that one city alone it was like a collective where everyone was going there oh you could worship your god that they were probably just doing like thousands or hundreds of different yeah, gods they're yeah. worshiping so honestly in order to kind of reference something about that he could have took some ideas from that and just yeah. made him yeah uh, th i think no, that's dope mm -hmm. mm. all right let's get back to the questions we'll we'll go through super chats guys sorry you know i just want more time with sundays and i also want time with this chapter um please like the video if you haven't already and thank you so much for being here all right next we come back to the chapter but within a flashback 47 years ago in the South Blue at Sorbet Kingdom, we see Kuma's parents. They enjoy the birth of Kuma. His father, Clap, that's such a funny name, tells the doctor to keep his blood a secret. The doctor says, don't worry. But then he lies and he cries that he's sorry. 
and then we see uh, Marines come and do their thing. Clap tells them not to take his wife or son, but they do anyway, and now they're slaves. A young Kuma is bragged about to others about being a buccaneer slave. He's beaten and shot at. Clap asked Kuma how he's doing, and Kuma replies, his master is so kind and so gentle. Clap tells Kuma his mother has passed away, and she's in heaven. Clap cries, and Kuma's mortified. Kuma actually loses his mind, and Clap tells him he can survive this. Kuma says he'd rather pass too. Clap tells him Nika will come. He'll save him. Clap continues to tell Kuma about Nika and how it's a story from his buccaneer heritage. As Clap continues speaking about Nika, he's suddenly shot in front of Kuma. He's gone. Kuma continues smiling, expressionless, with his father's blood on his face. Sundays, what did you think about this part of the chapter? I immediately was like, man, what backstory is like on this level right now? Because, I mean, we there are some heavy backstories, but even now, bro, like, I'll be getting choked up. I'm a little emotional when I be reading One Piece sometimes, bro. Like, I just, I just, I, I, I knew the Celestial Dragons, like, we all know the Celestial Dragons are the worst of the worst. But as this chapter kept going, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, nah, it's getting bad. I did not think. I thought, like, okay, a couple of them, especially because we've seen a couple of them at the Reverie that were like, nah, like, you know, uh, ne I don't know if he said Neptune saved his life. But, you know, he was some people were trying to save Shirahoshi. People were, some of the Celestial Dragons were like, listen, you may have thought they weren't all terrible. And then you get here and you're just like, oh, yeah, no, they need to be wiped out. They need mm -hmm. to be taken off. I mean, I did just notice now that they weren't enslaved before Kuma had uh, was born. Mm -hmm. I thought they were always slaves. I thought they were like he was just having a slave child, mm -hmm. and then they were trying to keep his secret, like the secret of his blood, just because um, I thought they were gonna try to kill him. I mm -hmm. thought they were gonna like try to like take out him and his son. But then now as I'm seeing now, I'm like, oh, wow, that's why y'all got enslaved. So now I'm kind of like, Dad, what were you thinking? Like, yeah. You needed, you should have been had a, a, a B plan. This should have been, you should have had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, oh, no, not like that. I'm not like that. I'm just saying. I'm just hey, saying. No, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Not, not, not like that. I'm saying <laughs> as like an actual plan for having Kuma. Like that should not have been anywhere near any government vicinity. You should have been mm -hmm. on an island. Mm. Uh, me personally, if I if, if I think it can get that bad, I'm not even going to a normal doctor. I'm going to like a pirate doctor, something. I'm going somewhere where I know the world government is not uh, in a hundred miles, mm. and I'm, that's at least uh, I can try to do. But it really gets me thinking about his mother, though. I kind of want to be like, dang, she had to go through this too. Like yeah. I'm like I'm like, what's going on? Like was she is she normal? I, I mean, obviously, I guess she, she's not a buccaneer, of course. But I'm like, what like. Just for you to just get enslaved like that, it's like, oh yeah, nah. Her crime was getting clapped. Yo, yeah, facts. Well, yeah, well, you messed with <laughs> a slave. Guess what? <laughs> slave family. Mean. I care with you. Yeah. Listen, I mean, you know, that it's, size difference crazy. Yeah, yeah, well, that's one piece for you. Odin, <laughs> that is Odin was like what? Bruh. Seven five and old girl was <laughs> listen. Shout out to the Tantata that laid pipe on Big Mom, bro. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. He was all. The, let me stop. Yeah, but I mean, just right, you know, it, yeah, it was just. <laughs> It was deep. I was definitely just like, Pause. dang. <laughs> My fault. It was deep and deep. I'm done. I'm done. Chill out, y'all. I'm done. I right. just thought, like, you know, Kuma, you know, I just, I felt for him in my ass, you know? It's, yeah. You, you get from slave to robot, it's a hard life. It's a hard life. I mean, revolutionary in between, of course, but it's hard. It's a hard battle, so. Justice for that boy. Justice for that boy. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. Law? Now, it's, it's one of the... um. Backstories that you go into, like, all right, is is this the worst one? You know, mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's crazy how uh, I just went back in this chapter how Saturn gonna be like he was born into a slave castle. No, he wasn't. Yeah, I took him after he was born right. when his because they were born in the Serbe Kingdom. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm trying to figure out because obviously he becomes Kuma, the king of that kingdom. Mm -hmm. Were they royalty at first, and then the, the they just take them royalty because of their blood? Well, he, they, the government did name him a tyrannical ruler. 
Right. He, so he might have been royalty. You're I right. know. Yeah, no. That's he didn't crazy. seem like a royal. He didn't. At this yeah, point. Yeah, he didn't. Because yeah. uh, yeah. right, we'll get into mm-hmm. it. But, yeah. Right. So then, but like, you know, it just takes them and then just forces them into this. And it's just like, you know, because the girls say kind of rule the world where they can just, they take what they want. You know, and then I'm leaving with something. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> like their motto, bro. Yeah. And it's crazy because, and you see how they um, they train. Sad to say, they train their slaves because we saw this exact same thing. Akuma was smiling after his father mm-hmm. on Fishman Island. No, on the Fishman Arc with um, Cola, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how she was just like trained or driven as with the slave mindset. Mm-hmm. Even koala? Though, koala, koala. Yeah, yeah. 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 I said Cola. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, koala, mm-hmm. right? When she's on the fisherman, yeah. and how she still has that mindset, yeah. where she's like, "I'll keep working, I won't cry, w- whatever," you know, like, "Don't worry," and stuff like that. And they're, and then that's where Fisher Tiger's like, "You're not there anymore. You're not a slave anymore," mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And then she was actually able to cry. But it shows that like how much they drive this into their minds is just like they kind of like brainwash you to live yeah. that this is acceptable. You should be grateful. Yeah, and because yeah. Kuma even says it, he says, "Oh, you just were just beaten." You know, so it was my, a great day. Uh, and he says he was so nice. He treats me kind. It was only five licks. I know, <laughs> right? And it's crazy because again, he when he was born is when he was taken. Mm. So he's at this time he's known nothing else but this life. You know, so it drove in him to like even where after he's getting beat, he he still. I don't know if he is trained like naturally. He says that because that's what he experienced, or he's up a, a front because later on he saw him break down with his mom. Mm-hmm. He hears about his mom. You know, so it's like. Is he just showing face here, like what Koala was doing? Mm, like, yeah. and the inside, you're like crying here, you know. But the outside, just like I, I have to show this. They treat me so kindly, you know. Mm. Showing how much they break you, mm-hmm. because again, you know, One Piece is also about failed dreams, broken promises, and your will being broken, mm-hmm. you know. And then showing here that the girl she's been trying to, or has been doing that for 800 years, mm-hmm. you know, for everybody who's like a normal citizen. That's why people break free to become pirates. So this is like. This is so deep right here because this kind of outline, outlines what Kuma's going through is what kind of all society is going through under the rulership of the Celestial Dragons. Yeah. You know? And they bring us... I saw... How far did you get? You got to... I got to where to Kuma's the, flashback, ended, yeah. flashback ended. Yeah, right. So, we just got he, word here that Kuma's father knows the beat of the... Um, Mm-hmm. Drum because drums. Yeah, we've never heard anyone else hear that before. Because we went back when Nico starts doing it, we know that uh, Zonisha Zell was hearing it, but Momo never gave any credit to hearing it. And he's, you know, he has the voice of all things. And then everyone around them, no one else mentioned what does that be like a question or something. Like, they kind of get reference that they heard it. So I wonder if that's part of the buccaneer like lineage, mm-hmm. you know, that they can hear. This beat. And go back to, I don't think Kuma knew at all that uh, he was. I think it was more like, because One Piece kind of goes to this thing where it's like a coincidence, right? And but in part of, I guess, even the Conqueror thing that Luffy has that special belief that he draws <clears throat> people to their side. But also it's linked to, to who he knows, yeah. right? Like he won because Kuma got sent there to take them out, right, originally. And then uh, with um, Zoro's, you know, standing up for Luffy, what he would do, like, he actually gave that credit to Luffy, saying mm-hmm. he he drew to him loyal and good crewmates, just mm-hmm. like his father, just like you, Dragon, right? And then Kuma decided to add him. And it kind of reminds me, like, later on where Jimbe was like, because I think when he had that conversation with Ace, I'm not sure if this was filler or not, but I'm going to use it now because I, I, I remember in the anime, I don't remember in the manga, but I just remember that Jimbe's first impression to Luffy when he was talking to Ace about it, he goes, I'm not up here just helping anybody. Mm-hmm. That was Jimbe's stance. And then he went from that to, I will lay down my life during Marine Ford, showing that Luffy's charisma, his his conquerors, uh, what it draws, that he draws people to his side, that they're able to put their they're, they're willing to put their life on the line for him. So you saw that Jim made there, and now we're seeing that with Kuma, because later on he even protected the ship, but also due to like reputation of like Jim Bay Ace, you know that link, and then Kuma with the Dragon, and then. Luffy just wins their hearts, you know? So that's part of it where, like, I guess that's Luffy's. I think that's outside of Nika, yeah. right? That's what Luffy has personally. Mm-hmm. And then with Nika, it'll be even greater because he's the warrior of liberation. He does that naturally because mm-hmm. he's freeing him. He makes you, I guess, believe in hope or something, you know? Mm-hmm. But Luffy has that naturally where 
he just draws you to his side, especially if you have kind of like a good heart, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I think I talked enough, but yeah, what you guys got? All right, Seb. All right, so we finally here, man. We are. We have Kuma's flashback, and Otis said, all gas, no brakes, bro. Yep. On the fields, instantly. Mm -hmm. Um, Don't ever trust a doctor. In one piece, bro. Never. 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 <laughs> ever. Don't ever trust them. That's tough. Don't ever trust them. Especially one that wears fishnets. No. And, <laughs> Come on. And like dead people. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. He's on my whole back. Um, <laughs> but yeah, don't, don't trust the doctors in one piece, man. They snakes. Um, I feel bad for Kuma's dad. He he literally had the conversation with this doctor about the blood and was assured they were safe. Man, that, that them the, the Gorse paid that doctor before he walked in the room. <laughs> that, 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 that's what I said. <laughs> so he said, "I'm sorry. I'm so sorry." Was you paid off? You know what I mean? He's like, "I'm sorry, clap, run for your life." They showed up, but how, bro? Yeah. If you was on your job, if you was on your dean, and you really hit it, they not just looking at every single child that's born and going, "All right, what's the blood looking like?" That's not how it goes, man. You let that out somehow. Don't don't fake the funk, bro. Doctor, doctor was faking the funk. Right? I don't think that's on him. Nah, bro. bro, that's on him, man. I, I think mean, they was hey, out. Who here trusted lurking. that man? I think they was out here lurking. The government. I don't know. I Random think, sorbet I, kingdoms, I, man. I think the doctor folded for sure. He, like, <laughs> thank you. He should have been like, listen, brother, don't even come in here with that. Like, <laughs> listen, <laughs> doctor folded, somewhere. bro. Doctor folded. Um, I felt bad, bro. I felt bad for the mom. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like she, 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 she just. Trying to be a mom. <laughs> she it just gave tough. birth. And her baby getting yoked that quickly. You know what I'm saying? And she don't have the crazy... Like, she didn't even know she would need to do all that. Yeah. That that Rouge did. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, she just trying to live regular life. And, like, I see Kuma shackled up, smiling. He don't know nothing yet. Mm-hmm. Also, that's a baby, bro. Yeah, he big. He big as... <laughs> He's about two feet. Two feet out there. Huge baby, bro. Um, him <laughs> telling him that his mom passed, I was like, now nah, we already in it. Like Oda does this, and I think Moore did a video on it where like he talked, he'll have you go through some terrible stuff, and this isn't even the worst thing that's gonna happen to Kuma in this flashback. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? The two things that happened to him already in this first page, yeah. these first couple pages, there's a worse thing that'll happen to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Before the end of this flashback, which is crazy, like that's just how it operates, you know. So it's just wild to me, man. Like I felt so bad for 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 he he's telling him like yo she's in a better place. Like you hear people say that in real life, mm-hmm. but he was speaking to like we people say that in real life just about the earth and the the trials that you go through on earth. Mm-hmm. She was enslaved, bro. She died because of the hardship she was going through. Via slavery and like, I I felt so bad for her and clap because like yo bro I did I put them through this just because I'm a buccaneer mm-hmm. I have no control over who I am yeah I was born this way I met a girl I fell in love we had a kid and now we're in this situation just because because the doctor folded and that that scene where he's telling her telling him like she's better off and he tells him about the Nika I thought that was great and then it's touching. And then, like, he, you start seeing happiness again, right? Kumo's crying. The dad's doing the dance. Bam. Instantly. He's like, All oh. happiness you had done. Already. That little scene with the little splat of blood on his face while he was smiling his pop. Come on, man. Like, yeah. I ain't think Oda could still get me like this, bro. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's been a while since I've read some stuff in One Piece and felt like that. And I was like, yo, he really can still do this mm-hmm. to yeah. me. Oh, as yeah. cynical as I've become over the years. Nah. He still can do that, bro. And like, bro, we only, what, 12 panels into the chat, into the flashback. And as far as the stroke of genius with the writing itself, the timing with Bonnie, her about to be basically clipped in the same exact fashion, like, aim for the head, boom. Her grandfather, alleged, went out the same way. So, and then what happens next? But overall, I I like when One Piece gets dark yeah. because a lot of people look at it as like a oh it's just for kids it's funny it, like One Piece is like a 
a show for children. It's a show for adults masquerading as a show for children. Mm. But like these are the moments, bro. You don't get this like that. Yeah. In other series, at least like where you'll feel that way. And it can still make me feel that way, which is crazy. Yeah. So that that's all I got. But, I forgot I wanted to say something. So, and then, uh, so the add on what you're saying, and this goes into further like thinking back, and I'm gonna use Odin for example. Remember when he decided to uh, dance for five years in our mm-hmm. reaction? To me, at the time, I couldn't. I was like, no, like I. I kind of lost respect for Odin, mm-hmm. right? Because I was like, what can make you, in this circumstance, do this, right? I feel like, and we're like, I need a good explanation to what your reason why. With Kuma, it's something similar, because, like, we know all you're going through this, because, like, like, before we got all this at Marine Before War, uh, Ivankov says, Kuma would never do that, right? He would never turn himself to uh, become, uh, want to align with the world government and become this, you know, uh, cyborg or whatever this machine because he hates the world government, right? We never knew why, but that's what we got firsthand. Now we're seeing it, and it adds him to more. We need a great reason why Kuma did what he did, because now because Odex kind of hyped it up even more, because now Bonnie even accepted it. Whereas in like you know my dad did this for a reason, like it grew her close to her dad, but now her rage is towards the celestial dragons, so. I wonder how old is going to do it. It's going to be enough to convince us now. Because you convinced Bonnie, you're, you know, the daughter. It's like, as in, what happened that made Kuma, who experienced all this, to go back to the, the trap sle- game? <laughs> to go back <laughs> to the Celestial Dragons, to Vegapunk, and to accept being turned into this weapon, right? Where you can't be with your daughter. And you're kind of going to be used by the people who did this to you, your mother, your father, and you were born into slavery. Like, what happened? What's the reason? That's our title to order. Like, we need a good explanation. I think it's Dragon. I think Dragon said, hey, brother, you really trying to you really trying to end this? We need you deep cover. We need you. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> I, 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 but, but I do think it was either, like, I do think it was mostly a Dragon agenda why he became a warlord. But, you know, it's not going to outweigh the hate he should have. Absolutely. Yeah. But there comes a time where... The only way to do it is the hard way, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, I don't know, but that's just that's just my theory about it. It's crazy. The reason is these hoes. <laughs> <laughs> and it always will be. <laughs> All right? It's don't the, ever get it twisted. Yeah, it's the, reason. Hoes, the, reason. the reason for everything. the answer to everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. But um, for me, the world government is truly horrid. Clap is a noble man. Having a having a buccaneer slave, if they did represent the meaning of freedom, mm-hmm. would be boasted around as a great prize. Yeah. Um, for sure. That panel of Clap and Kuma sitting down and having the convo about his mom, Clap telling his son his wife is all better off. That also probably explains why Kuma is so self sacrificing. Mm-hmm. So I think we're all looking for a very solid reason as to why Kuma would do what he would do. Maybe in large portion, it's because he's always been a slave. Mm-hmm. He was born into slavery. And his father, right before he passed, told him, maybe your mom is in a better off place. Maybe she's actually in heaven. Mm-hmm. So if Kuma's giving his life for something, he probably thinks it's better to do that than to live. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. So I think that would be a good enough reason for Kuma to do what he does. And um, I don't know if y'all noticed, but after Clap told... Kuma about his wife passing away. He had his eye removed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I saw that too. He had a piece of his eye removed. Uh, oh, wow. The left side, as usual. Mm-hmm. Oda's always replacing the left eyes of all characters. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that'll come to fruition eventually, and why. Mm. But yeah. um, he did, Damn. and it just shows the um, horrific acts of people that even in our real world happen to do. Mm-hmm. So just to see that the Celestial Dragons have become inhuman in the literal sense to a degree, right? Like yeah. they're they're not they're not humans. Like they say they are. They're yeah. not humans. Yeah. They they don't act like humans. They act like truly evil beings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just want to say one thing. That dude right there sitting on a bench next to him while he's talking about Nika, mm-hmm. that's the guard that told who's who. Call on it out. Oh, that's a oh, good point out. He right there just I didn't realize he just saying this out in the so open. Is he a slave or is he He is a slave, yeah. Oh, okay. But like maybe he's not a slave no more. He just a guard. Yeah, first a slave to guard, upgrade. Mm-hmm. 
upgrade. I got I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I think the only other time Oda has ever written a backstory that's been this crazy is probably Law. Because Law yeah. ended up burying himself under his uh, passed away friends mm-hmm. yeah. to hide from being executed and mm-hmm. then escaped. Mm-hmm. And he was a child. So that mm-hmm. was like the closest I think we've ever gotten to something this graphic. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to say real quick. If clap if if I if I'm eight foot five, they're not taking me, bro. <laughs> Stop going down like that, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. You got Yo, it's you. a numbers game. You got man, your son with you, bro. We're going out, bro. We going out. You got out. your I'll, son I'll, with you, bro. You know, you know your wife. You know it's crazy. I respect you, bro. Yeah, I, I respect you, you too. You just displayed hockey, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just that's, 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 that's a conqueror spirit, bro. I appreciate it, man. Because I, I just think about it. I'm just like, man, I feel you like it's it's only so much you can do, but brother, you ate five, man. Like, <laughs> he's probably bigger than that. Yeah, he's yeah, probably I mean, he's 22 feet, bro. You know, and you and you talking about, I, I ain't see no Gore saying no panel. I ain't see Kazar <laughs> pull up. Wasn't no top tiers around. You know, you should, you may have had a, a rear admiral <laughs> yeah, yeah, or somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm, I'm, man, we thinking of something. Yeah, yeah we real talk. Uh-huh. Next scene, not finna be, oh, yeah, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. They got giant's yeah, butt, so they got, must have That's giant we, strength. We went from... Feeling bad for Clap to Clap went out so I mean, I, feel, I, 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 mean I feel bad for bro. Trust and believe I feel bad for bro. But also at the same time, like, nah, man. I'm just not going. I'm just not going. Like, if, if they you, rushing huh? me, it's going to be, Shawty, go. <laughs> Take them. Dude, I'm, I'm in it. Like, you said, not next scene. Oh, well, son. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's dead. You know, it's it's funny. Yeah. Here's the thing. You don't know that he did it though. He looked defeated. This is so. They don't crazy. look like they just got. It, it wasn't no. We just got him. He looked beat to, like, in the panel. Listen, Man. bro. I never thought that through this chapter review we get some clap hate. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Look at the panel, Sunday. I, I respect he it. He got bodied, bro. He but, go out like he he put something up. It's and, a little and, tough. and then she not and to, she not right either. It'll be respect. all right. Yeah, come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Yo, 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 that's the yo, that's the darkest part of the chapter. Yo, those are her like only words on panel. It's Kuma and uh it'll be all right, dear. And then she's done. Yeah. That's what it. What are you doing? <laughs> it's over. But you yo, again, clap. Kuma and her are fine. She's so whatever he went through, he made sure he took it. She set him up. Oh, wow. <laughs> nah, nah. She's not even gone. <laughs> oh, she yeah. set him up. She's that a celestial dragon. That's, dragon. For, that's that, crazy. Now she wouldn't be a celestial dragon because they. She in cahoots with the doctor. I'm saying they look at the smile Bay. on her face. Yo, they in Sorbet right now, running the kingdom, cheating. Crazy. Just look at the smile on her face, bro. <laughs> It'll be all right, dear. What? <laughs> look at my head. <laughs> I'm bleeding at the top Yo, of my eyebrow. What she wouldn't be such a but that would be the craziest. Turn, oh, my goodness. These women ain't faithful, bro. So, but, all right, you can't make it true. Like, you know? These women ain't faithful, bro. Yo, what, they, what did, did we get the wife's name? The mom's name? Nah, never right, said it. Look, nah, boom, never said it. see? It's probably Eve, man. She about to come it's out. Probably it's probably Jada. Wow, she about to, she, wow that's wild. It's probably Jada. <laughs> <laughs> She finna come out. She finna come out in 1096. Like, ah, oh, Bonnie. So you survived. <laughs> what? What's going on right now? Oh, Yo, man. listen. It's crazy. All right, we moving on. We moving on. Hey, man, I'm with it. Uh, <laughs> all right. So finally, we uh, go 38 years into the past within the West Blue. So mm-hmm. Cel- a celestial dragon stands in the middle of six treasure chests shouting that it's been three long years since they've had their great sport, the native hunting competition. It'll be on an unaffiliated land of God Valley. This land possesses ample natural resources. They will hold their customary manhunt and claim the island for the world government. The king of God Valley says he can't believe they're willing to murk his people for a game. Then he gets cut. We then see Garling in his youth. Female celestial dragons um, are gawking over him. Uh, They tell Garling he lost 10,000 points for starting too early, and he says it'll make for a good handicap. They also have slaves who are problems and criminals to hunt. Saturn is also there and acts as about the escaped child, the buccaneer boy. Uh, boy. Slaves we once saw beating Kuma are angry because his disobedience will get them all murked. Then we see Avankov and Guinea. 
They are children as well and both recognized as slaves. Avankov says Kuma must be the grand prize and the buccaneer boy. He also heard that he has giant's blood in him. What did you guys think of the ending of this chapter? And we'll start with Seb. All right, so one, I said all gas, no brakes. Oda flying through the highway, bro. Yeah. God Valley and the Kuma flashback in one? Are you serious? Yeah. That's he different, bro. He's different. <laughs> These are the two most anticipated flashbacks, probably in One Piece history. I think only Odin and Roger were comparable, yeah. right? And like the fact that he merged those two together, we should have known this was coming, low mm -hmm. key. Because, bro, every we've been talking about it. Yo, God Valley. I want to see God Valley. I want to mm -hmm. see God Valley. I want to see God Valley. I want to see Kuma. I want to see Kuma. I want to see Kuma. Oda said, both of them, mm -hmm. same time. Mm -hmm. We doing it all, right? So, I thought that was amazing. I think. They're setting up God Valley to be super, super dope. Mm -hmm. What were those six chests? I think we, we had a super chat from Dale Thomas. It says, uh, what if they contain the fruits of like Whitebeard, Shiggy, Kuma, Eva, Kaido, and Orochi? I didn't think that when I read it, but like, maybe. Mm -hmm. all, maybe not all those people were there per se, but at the minimum, those fruits may have been. Could be the prize that they were going for. Um, the fact that it's a manhunt like we we've talked about it four different occasions on this chapter alone. Yo, the, the world, yo, the celestials are evil. Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's a tradition. They do this every three years. We pick a bunch of slaves and hunt them in the pit. Like bro, what? Like that's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. I'll say this: we get a lot of Garling top one troll work in our Discord, oh, and I think yeah. it's in the One Piece community. Um, I think Garling is a strong character. I mm -hmm. do. I think he's gonna be relatively strong. This is not. The showing of a top tier. Yeah. This is not the first. This is not how you see a top tier for the first time. And I know we saw him earlier, but the two things that he's done, that's not how Oda writes top tiers. Mm -hmm. He wasn't that imposing on panel to me. So it's it's the same way they he writes Mihawk. <laughs> but keep going. I'm not getting into that. <laughs> Mihawk was much more imposing when he first showed up on screen. And even when he showed him again when he met with Shanks, there was much more imposing figure here. But whatever, I'm not getting into that. Um, <laughs> overall, like, I think God Valley basically All Star Weekend, yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, it's, it's NBA All Star Weekend. Everybody here. Yeah. Everybody's gonna be here. Mm -hmm. Everybody youth that's of age is gonna be here and involved, mm -hmm. and we're gonna get everything. Yeah. Um, my mind immediately went to we're gonna get Young Dragon versus Garling. Mm -hmm. That's where my mind went. Mm -hmm. um, I, I see that. I think I, I never pres prescribed to the theory that Dragon was a Marine until right now. Mm. This is the, the first time I was like, yo, I think he's going to be here. He's probably going to be a Marine, and he's probably going to do something that makes him have to leave because of what's happening on God Valley. Mm. Garp's here, whatever. As far as the kids, it was dope seeing Ivankov and Guinea. There were some theories out that that's Luffy's mom. I don't see that. I think it'd be Bonnie's mom. Um, she's eating. Bonnie's yeah. like a eater. Yeah. And in general, like, if she's she looks <laughs> pretty, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Man. she looks really young. Yeah. Dragon would be roughly 17, 18. He's like, 17. I, He's 17. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't assume that this is his like wife or, or Luffy's mother in mm -hmm. that case. Yeah. He'd be um, 10 years older at least. Yeah, she just looks really young, man. Mm -hmm. Um, which again, she could grow into whatever. I just think. Kuma, like, this is probably him meeting the mother of his child, if that is indeed Bonnie's mom, if Bonnie's even Kuma's kid or whatever. Like, right. and anything is possible at this point with, right. with Bonnie and Kuma and stuff. But if I had to guess, that's probably uh, the mom there. Um, I had something else for, like, what the split was on God Valley. But I forgot what it was. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. somebody some fight probably took place there. I like that they talked about the resources. Whether they're talking about the chap like the treasures itself, I don't know. Maybe there's more to the 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 landscape here than the meets the eye. But I was just blown away, bro. The fact that we got we're getting God Valley and Kuma's flashback at the same time is just mm -hmm. peak, bro. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly. All right. Yeah. Sundays. Um, I mean, shoot, man, even you talking about the split, it just gets me thinking about, yeah, they, this is probably where some gods fought, you know, in their mm -hmm. mind, you know what I mean? Like, this is probably some early, you know, ancient war thing going on here. Um, it, when I was reading this, 
you know, obviously we know the Celestial Dragons are going to be uh, terrorizing the community, going to be the worst of the worst in this situation. It kind of made me thinking, like, what if, like, Rox wasn't a bad guy? Mm -hmm. Like, what if your mans was here and he gets involved and now after this situation... He's labeled a certain he's way. He's like... Because, you know, Roger was a bad guy, too, for a, a little minute, even though we still caught the glimpse of like ah, he, he's not that bad but they make rock seem like oh yeah he was the worst of the worst but i'm thinking here like you can't be it can't be rocks is the worst of the worst and you got people hunting civilians like somebody's <laughs> got to be on the same side here um so that's kind of what i was thinking about like you know as we start getting into this you know epic battle that we all been waiting for everybody's waiting for god valley like you said everybody's waiting for um Really, everybody's waiting to see who was the coldest at this time. I I, I think, um, you know, a lot of people disrespect Big Mom. And I think, you know, if she's at this battle, like, this might be her time to shine. Maybe this is her, uh, you know, comeback, uh, you know, because she's skinny at this time. So. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? This is when she's bad. So, I mean, it was cool, even because in there, um, I'm, I'm just excited to see what happened, man. I mean, again, hunting civilians <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> Like yeah. I like the I, world's most dangerous yeah, game. Yeah, I'm not even gonna say like yeah, that's what it was. I'm not even gonna say like I'm shocked. Like I would I would have been like, okay, they're gonna hunt slaves, but just running up on somebody's crib and just like, oh yeah, everybody's getting hunted. It's like, what are you talking about? Like that's that's out of control. Um, like you said, uh Figurlin, I don't know, he looked too pretty to be nice. I don't know, bro. <laughs> looked like he looked like he might get a... Kyle might come through on him and send him <laughs> send him back a couple notches. Maybe that's why he starts getting his bars up. Um, <laughs> Cause I'm just saying he looking real he looking real comfortable looking got the he got the Gucci on like he get, get he getting real like solid in here and I'm thinking yeah if, if real pirates are about to pull up the Rocks crew is about to slide uh, and the Roger pirates uh, yeah you're 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 probably getting worked you're probably not making out of here without uh, Saturn here. Saturn here, I mean, but I mean, <laughs> Saturn here, but we don't know how pow how powerful is he at this time. He's still is he's still an eight legged, magic circle appearing monster. I don't mm. know. Maybe he's just. Why does he still look the same age? Is my problem? Like, <laughs> Yo, right, my man is my bro. is my man's not aging. What's going on? Not aging at all, man. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm just excited to see how uh, Even Cove is. I feel like he's really about to be like. There's a reason he's like you know Dragon and him are so close. I'm I'm pretty sure this is probably the reason here you know i'm sure this is like the, the the tides are about to change you know for uh the world in the past and to bring it where we are now so yeah it's gonna be lit wait till they animate it it's gonna be mm. serious I'm telling you man nba all-star weekend bro mm. everybody here mm -hmm. yeah all right uh law yeah i'm so excited for what's about to happen i was not expecting like i said to get a god valley flashback now mm -hmm. right and i just hope we get what we want, <laughs> you know, because and hope order doesn't cut it short, but we actually get the full run through of what exactly what happened. Because this is, is going to reveal a lot of story and a lot of lore that we have, right? Because too, we find out a lot of things through this little thing that uh, God Valley is not government affiliated. Mm -hmm. We always thought, you know, because even you go to the, back to when they first show Garling. It said that he was the ruler of God Valley, but it wasn't affiliated with y'all, so he wasn't ruling it because we just also saw him take out the ruler of God Valley, the king. Mm -hmm. So when did he become in place of ruling it? And also, too, that island also disappeared. So I'm trying to curious how is how and when was Garling, you know, the ruler? Because yeah, if it's supposed to disappear soon, right? And he just took out the ruler, so he wasn't ruler yet, you know? Like, I'm trying to play out how does that make sense, mm -hmm. right? And then also, too, the big thing is, Right, because you, you mentioned the world's dangerous game, the manhunt. Because I'm trying to think, where's that from? It, again, just showing how, again, how Hunger Games. Yeah, mm -hmm. how evil they are. Because, for example, we all know that, like a lot of times, like in those in those things, like the world's great, um, the, mo the world's most dangerous game where they're hunting humans, they can kind of fight back or do whatever. They're not going to be allowed to do that because these are the celestial dragons. So it's just like, in a way, like, oh, the reverie's coming up in four years. Oh, it's our, in a way, if you want to think about it, it's a murking spree. Mm -hmm. It's a way where they could just single out a single country, village, and just because those people are not going to be able to fight back at all, you know, while using those things where, like, they could fight for their survival. They just got to win it. 
there's no way they could win. The people that they're hunting could win. You mm-hmm. know, it's just like you might as well just line them all up and just have them all just like spray them because that's basically what they're doing here, showing how truly evil they are because there's no way they can really survive in the separate. And this is what goes into like honestly goes into like you mentioned rocks and everything, right? And Gold Roger and Garp. And the main thing is, like, I know Rox, he may not be a bad guy, but I'm trying to play is like, if that's for his people, how does he end up fighting Gold Roger, though? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Because we all know Go- Roger. He, like, you said it back when, when Oda was joining his crew. It was said to Odin, do not harm any civilians. Roger would, you know, have an issue with you. He would take you out, right? Mm-hmm. We know Garp is about the hero, about saving civilians, right? They're both here. So if it's about saving, like, maybe somebody, I don't know, like, civilian or whatever, I don't think Roger or Garp would have an issue with the rocks mm-hmm. doing that, you know? So it has to be a different, I'm going to say a different reason, because we don't know why. I'm not going to say rule that out completely. But it's, to me, it just rose my curiosity why they end up fighting here with this is happening mm-hmm. in God Valley here, you know? And then it makes me think, you guys mentioned those six treasure pieces, right? I don't, I don't think they're fruits, because if they're, because normally we don't see the reason why we don't normally see social dragons have yeah, it. Don't. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. We, the, the exception was though Flamingo and now maybe the Gorosei, but to me their power looks a little different, mm-hmm. right? But what if it's something else? And this is what drew Rox's attention. Mm-hmm. What if he was gunning for these treasure chests? Mm-hmm. You know, but to me that still doesn't explain why he ended up getting to a fight with uh, Roger and Garp. But this could have been what he was going for. I want those six things because. Also, too, you want to think about it. His goal was to be ruler of the world, top of the world, right? Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. True. Allegedly. That is true. Actually, that factors in a lot. Because I was going to bring out how if we found out now that God Valley is not an affiliate w- or government thing, this place doesn't take you there. The only thing it gives you is that you have all the girls, say, here with the God Knights. That's the only thing that uh, kind of supplies for you. Right, this place wouldn't give you. And it also has it says it has it's filled with natural resources, I guess. But this wouldn't take you to the spot of ruler of the world here, you know. So what drew your attention here? That's what I'm thinking. It. What if it's these? Because if it's something that the special dragons are willing to do all this for, it has to be something unique, special. The grant, because special dragons, you kind of have anything you want. So ha- the prize for this has to be ridiculous. Well, there, there's also the the fact that it's called God Valley mm-hmm. and it's not allied with the like. There's a there's a how dare you aspect yeah, of this upset. as well. Yeah, that's why I think they, I think that's why they were targeted. Yeah, I think that's why the girl was like, let's choose this spot because they have this. It was kind of yeah. wild. They're not even in the New World, bro. They just chilling in West Blue. Like we not part yeah. of the world government slash we calling ourselves God Valley. Like you wild. Yeah, <laughs> like you're wild, bro. Yeah, so I I don't have much more um, except for that because like, uh, and I, I agree with Sebastian. I think Ivan Ivankov's sister is possibly Kuma's wife. Even though the only thing is like I went back to the check when Bonnie was on uh, Mary Joyce and she went to that old lady form. They didn't say if it was like you know her, her mother or grandmother, but they called her when she was in that form. They believed she was you know the queen. They called her Connie, you know. So it's two things. She was looking like her, an old version of her mom, and they thought it was her. Or Connie, um, the queen of Sorbet, is Bonnie now, and she just takes that form and just switches her name from Bonnie to Connie, you know? Like, as a, like, I'm the pretending queen of mm. Sorbet. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know? About that. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Like, those two options, because they called her that. So they, they recognize her as that, so I'm thinking, oh, you're pretending to be your mom, but... It, that's how it, because it, it's you're kind of because Kuma left right for exactly the 22 and years ago she became the queen dowager yeah. so mm-hmm. she it could just be her mom bro. she was probably just queen for the time being yeah it yeah. could be her mom like Guinea's mom is Connie Connie Guinea Bonnie I don't know, I don't know. yeah yeah but on um, this interesting thing uh, yeah and I don't have much either because like yeah, you said dragon should be 19 at this 17. 17 17 right I don't think dragon's gonna be a slave at all like that's not my thought. I don't even know if he's going to be here fighting, but I it can link him afterwards. I'm, I, I can't wait to see what's going to happen because I, I have so much stuff, but nothing I can really map out. But what you got? Uh, I think the devil fruits are in those treasure chests for sure. Mm. Uh, chapter 521, Boa Hancock uh, was speaking uh, to Luffy about how her and her sisters were slaves and 
um, the celestial dragons uh, gave them devil fruits to eat for amusement. Mm. Uh, Doflamingo received his fruit from treble from chapter 782, and he was not opposed to eating a devil fruit. Um, and just knowing who he is, he's always lived by the morals of what celestial dragons are. So for him to take a devil fruit, he didn't see it as a bad thing. He just saw how to amplify his goals. That's true. I, I don't want to cut you off. It just it just hit me. Could it be that they like gave the devil fruits out to civilians to hunt them with to make it more interesting? Like you, would they wild the out girl, to that? Girl, the, me to the that would be crazy. Yeah, but like, I don't think that happened, but it's a good I, statistic. Though. I feel like they know they're gonna get packed up if you give somebody. They might the not know what the fruits fruit. even are. Yeah, mm, well, I don't know. Go, Saturn shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think the treasure chest for the hunting competition indeed contains devil fruits that can only be won by celestial dragons to eat and have. Because mm-hmm. that's really why they're competing. Right. They're not just going to give the slaves these devil fruits, especially if it's something that they would want. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of adds even more to this is chapter 440. Blackbeard fights Ace. Yeah. Blackbeard literally tells Ace, I've been waiting for this devil fruit forever. Mm-hmm. And how did he know about it? There was an identification uh, manual yeah. that he read, mm-hmm. and it showed the shapes of devil fruits, but it also told what those devil fruits do. Mm-hmm. So if the Yami Yami was able to be read by Blackbeard and he knew exactly what that information was, one, he either got it from Vegapunk, mm-hmm. right? Or he got it from Celestial Dragons, where on the red line, we know they're scholars. Mm. And they knew about uh, devil fruits because the CP9 uh, agents, Lucci and... Um, what's the guy's name with the, the horns again? He has the trap trap door for Bueno. Bluno. 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 Yes. What did I say? They were, <laughs> bueno. And they were talking about how if you eat two devil fruits, apparently you would pass away because the ones would yeah. they would fight inside you and you would yeah. explode. Mm-hmm. So I think there's some evidence to that. Um, also, during chapter 999, Big Mom. Oh, you went backpack reading, bro. Yeah. Chapter <laughs> 999, uh, Big Mom told Kaido that... Uh, you know, she she had the devil fruit and she gave it to Kaido. But mm-hmm. it was during the Rock uh, God yeah, Valley right. incident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So here's my list for devil fruits. I think for sure number one is Kaido's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Number two, probably Whitebeard's. Whitebeard never showed that he had a devil fruit before uh, God Valley. Mm-hmm. He showed it after, though. Uh, number three, I definitely do think it's Kuma's. Just okay. it would make sense because Kuma's there and he mm-hmm. would probably eat a devil fruit. I think the next great one would probably be the hormone hormone fruit for Ivankov. Mm-hmm. Um, the other two, I do not know. I, I don't know. I don't think it's dragons. I don't think it's the Gomu Gomu. I don't think it's Bonnie's. Yeah, it's just... It's big moms. I don't think it's Big, big Mom. She ate hers. Uh, uh, the, the children. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it can't be Big Mom. So for me personally, I don't think it's any of those guys because there's just too much time. Yeah. That means that the Gomu Gomu would have to be in a chest just traveling on the ocean somewhere. Or even drag even if Dragon's there, which I don't think he is, that fruit would have to have somehow landed in his pocket. So it depends if there's a battle and these, these two treasure chests just went somewhere else and was able to be found. They didn't get found for a long time. Beyond that with the Gomu, like Saturn's here, right? Overseeing this supposedly or whatever. Exactly. If he's knowledgeable, there's no chance. That they're out here putting this fruit up for because they were looking for it no, and it avoided them for right. 800 it's years. No yeah, exactly. so it's not the Gomu Gomu. That would be a plot of consistency. Exactly. In my yeah, and it's so funny. I was like, Yo, how funny would it be if this island is called God Valley because long ago Ryuma came through and sliced the island in half, and they were like, the sword god mm-hmm. cut this mountain in half, so now it's called God Valley. <laughs> and the reason I say this is because S Hawk. Mm-hmm. During chapter 1059, cut Amazon Lily when the he was fighting Blackbeard. Same way. Exactly, yeah. So I'm like, yo, how funny would that be, right? Um, oh, yeah. Lawrence, I do have a question for you. I do have a question, and it's a religious question. Um, what does it? What does the Bible say about the 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 Valley of the Shadow of Death? Would you be able to explain it in like terms I could like we would be able to understand? So. So the Valley of Shadow of Death is more of a... Because the Bible speaks in a lot of uh, symbolic meaning, you know? Mm-hmm. So um, and that, so that's like one translation will say that. But so basically, when it, that is mentioned, it's actually, uh, I guess, a prayer by, I guess, or a psalm by David. 
right? And he's kind of saying how God will protect him through, like, anything. Because I see no evil, like, even if I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I should uh, I should see no evil, right? So it's kind of like, protect me even if I go through this badness or when I'm going through something, I will be protected by God no matter where I am on the face of the earth. Mm-hmm. So it's not a literal place. It's more like David's... A metaphor for yeah. tribulation you'll go through yes. in life. Yes, yeah, hardship, tribulation, if I could get, even the valley of death or like the worst thing you could possibly think of, I'll be right because I have God supporting me, backing me, protecting me, guiding me. That's more okay. of what it speaks, symbolic. I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm glad I asked you that question because when I thought of God Valley, I thought of the valley of the shadow of death. And I think that Oda's once again playing on the history and using wordplay. So I said, if it's not Sor God Ryuma, why would this island with normal citizens call themselves God Valley? And if Rox is coming here, what's the reason for that? I came out with a theory a little bit ago that said that he most likely went there because that might have been where the original ancient weapon was, Uranus. Mm -hmm. Because remember, God Valley was erased from the face of the planet. It's no longer there. The last time we seen something like that happen was Lelouchia, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And that was used most likely by an ancient weapon that Ivankov hinted at, which is funny because Ivankov is on God Valley. So for me, I'm saying, okay, so how how would that even happen? Well, during Anel's cover story, there's murals that he looks at and he sees three winged angels, right? The Shandorians, the Birkins, and the Skypeans. And during in those murals, they left the Burka moon city for resources because the moon dried up of all their resources. So what did they do? They came down to the blue planet to visit a certain island that had a potential amount of resources that Mm. they didn't have, ample Mm -hmm. amount. So if you're regular people and you see angels come down from this ancient weapon Uranus, which is most likely a moving vehicle, right, to travel, Mm -hmm. they they probably looked at these angels and was like, oh, they're gods. And then it made me think about, well, when the angels landed here, what did they experience? They experienced tribulations. Mm-hmm. They experienced some, probably some suffering, some adversity. The same way, like you said, in the Valley of the Shadow of Death. Maybe that's Oda's wordplay or like metaphor of that instance. Mm. Yeah. So it brings, it gives Rox a, a actual goal. It gives the Birkins now and whatever they came down a reason to come down to because remember Nami's two-year time skip mm-hmm. she went to Heredes who's a Birkin and they're on Wetheria or Wetheria and the only time they ever came down was to gather resources mm-hmm. yeah yeah so, See, you, man. so you said Rox is looking for the ancient weapon you think yeah the original. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. think it would be the devil fruits themselves yeah. right See y'all, let's, Larry let's be spitting, man. Y'all, y'all be on some wild nah, stuff. No, no, nah, Larry he always be spitting, bro. Come on. It kind of makes me think. Like, do you think? Do we think Rox has a devil fruit? I, I, I think. Remember? I think he probably resembles Luffy to the T. Rox. Yeah. Mm. I think he'll be Luffy to the T, but the opposite of him. So he'll be the mixture between Blackbeard and Luffy. Imagine he mm. had the gun going on. Nah, I don't. I don't want to get that. <laughs> what did he die on this island? No, right? He he's gone I, I from think, whatever happens here allegedly. Like, okay. Yeah, I mean, what, if he, what if he had suspect. it? All the information at this point is suspect. Yeah, had it for a second, died, and that was it. I would like to think that Rox didn't have an ability, but if you look at like everyone else on his crew, that was like except for. Except for uh, Kaido at that time. Mm-hmm. Kaido, Shiki probably didn't have one. Who knows? We don't know. We they don't all know. have, because like, later on we see them, they all have abilities now. Uh-huh. Rocks at that time, would be, and besides from Kaido, would be the only ones that we know that didn't have it. Mm-hmm. You know, But Whitebeard may have not had it, may or not. Mm-hmm. Well, Big's I, mom definitely had it. I, I'll say this. If Oda's main message is to say that willpower trum- triumphs all, then I would see why Kaido thought that. And he would think that, well, I have three Devil Fruit users. White beard, big mom, and whoever else, maybe Shiki did have his. And he's like, yo, he still stands above them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and right. then on to compound that, Roger, Roger yeah. mm-hmm. overcame whatever happened here and then went on to become the Pirate King. Yeah. While yeah. Whitebeard kind of just chilled and did his own thing. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. The greatest yeah. pirates ever, the greatest pirates I ever witnessed didn't have fruits if Rocks didn't. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I do have a little bit more to say, my bad, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. No, no, yeah. 
Uh, it's completely possible that Garling and Shanks is Pops. Mm-hmm. They both share the women walking over them type of <laughs> skill. Well, I just, I just hope and, that's not the case. Man. Yeah, they look sort of like Shanks is 39 right now, uh, and Gal Valley was 38 years ago, so yeah. he was one. Garling definitely looks younger than Shanks' his age right now, so I'd probably say he's probably like five years younger than Shanks would be. Like, he's probably 34 or something like that. Me and Lionel did the math. Possibly, if he's 70, he'll be like 32 right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's probably like 32 he looks super or 34. Young. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Garling uh, is Buggy's dad. <laughs> I don't think Dragon will be on the island if he was a Marine just because he's 17. And the Freedom Fighters, they didn't start until 22 years ago. So he didn't find out about Avankov or um, uh, Kuma until 22 years ago. No, that just means he didn't start doing the revolutionary stuff until no, 22 no, no. years ago. No, no, no. He found both of them later that year after he talked to Vegapunk. That's what they said. No, they said yes. that he recruited them to Bro, be revolutionaries, I, not that he had met them there. Well, you know what I mean? Well, granted, he still didn't. It, it's it's insinuated that he mm. recruited them 22 years, like okay. later that year after he visited Vegapunk on Ohara. So, but, but you don't you don't think this is their first meeting though? That it might have been. Mm. We don't mm. know. He yeah. probably heard about Kuma or Avankov and went to go recruit them. Mm, he yeah. might have known, heard about them, but it's a sixteen-year difference. What's the like? Dra- Dragon here, man. Everybody so, here. Exactly. Dragon was like thirty-three years old when he he linked up with Kuma and Ivanka for sure. So it's like I feel that. I feel that. It's a sixteen-year difference from uh, th- where that the thirty-eight years ago to what you said, Dragon uh, meeting them. Yeah. Uh, also, Saturn might have eternal life. He looks the exact same. Like saying, he yeah, I keep look. forgetting to bring that up. Yeah, he, he, he definitely looks the exact same. The, um, yeah. And that, uh, my bad. And no, that no. just makes me think about that theory that they had literal beef with the sun god. Like, literally, this <laughs> yeah, is their man. day they one was, op. Like, they they really, he said Nika when he saw Luke. Right. It wasn't like, oh, that's yeah. the fruit. It said Nika. Like, I know that dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that mother, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I nah. So here's an interesting thing. Uh, Mosh brought up on our chapter reaction. He might not have the perennial youth surgery mm-hmm. that Doflamingo was talking about, but mythical Zoans mm-hmm. might be able to grant you an extension of life. Mm-hmm. Because if right. you think about it, sharks can live up to like 132 years. Mm-hmm. Turtles can live like a, like 100 and something as well. Maybe because they are mythical, they're yeah. able to tap into a life expectancy that normally they wouldn't have. And since these guys are based on yokai, mm-hmm. that might grant them the ability to have an extra life. I'm a little ignorant. What's what is a yokai? A yokai is like a mm-hmm. um, it's like a, a malevolent slash benevolent spirit in okay. Japanese culture. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. They're like gotcha. they're they're just evil spirits gotcha, basically. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Guinea most likely Bonnie's mom, not Luffy's. Yeah. Giant's blood is interesting because I wonder if Whitebeard is part buccaneer. But this would also explain if Joy Boy was a buccaneer. It would explain if he was a giant as well. Mm. Because the straw hat that we saw with yeah, Emu. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's huge. Mm-hmm. It's huge. That mm-hmm. was huge. So mm-hmm. that might explain their worst enemy in keeping like a souvenir of his. Yeah. So what are they saying about Kuma? Is it is it... Is it the giant is a part of the Buccaneer's blood, or are we saying he got both, or are we saying it's a mixture? It li- when Ivankov said that he has just giant's blood. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yo, um, that reminds me of a point I forgot to bring up. Zoro low-key foreshadowed the Buccaneer race when he fought King. He was asking about what he what what makes him different. Why is he so durable, et cetera? He asked, like, is it giant's blood mm. in there? So I thought that was mm. interesting, fighting one of the, like, mythical races or the – Extinct mm-hmm. races. Yeah. He talks, he basically foreshadows another one. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And then the last part I'll say, it seems like Oda again is playing with mythology mm-hmm. and putting it into One Piece because the Greek mythology of giants, they're famously known for fighting the gods of yeah. Mount Olympus mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. losing. So mm-hmm. it's like the gods of Mount Olympus. <laughs> where God. is the Celestial Dragons? They're on top of the red line. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And they might have won against the Giants in the back back in the day. Yeah. So yeah. Oda's like, yo, I'm using this recipe, but I'm now twisting it into my own. So I'm like, damn, Oda cooked this chapter, bro. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely yeah. cooked. Yeah, absolutely. Joy Boy, like, about to be all four of the major races, bro. He about to be a fisherman, buccaneer, lunarian, giant. Yeah. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much uh, for being here. 
Um, we're going to start doing some super chats. We're going to get as many as we can, and then we're going to do phone calls like at 7.30, 7.35. Mm -hmm. um, I can't promise to answer all the long questions because we do want to hit phone lines. Hey, guys, if, but, we, if we cut short the responses, just know we're trying to get through every single one of these. Yeah. We want you to be heard, but sometimes you can't respond to everything. Yeah, they're, they're, this chapter mm -hmm. was just a lot, but mm -hmm. you having fun, man? Yeah, I'm having a great time. Listen, let me tell you. <laughs> Every time y'all speak, I just like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> well, hold on, I ain't even, you know what? That do sound like, wait a minute. <laughs> because I mean, I mean, cause I, I'm just more of a guy that's like, I, I feel like I just stopped trying to pick Otis' brain like 10 years ago, bro. I was just like, let, let's just see what happened. But y'all boys are still grinding on the, on the, on the, you know, picking to see what's happening. And it's just a beautiful thing, man. So I'm having a great time. I yeah. feel like I'm in class, really. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love to hear it, man. Love to hear it. But we All did right. get a $5 yeah. super chat from Project Iceman. It says, finally, uh, recently read a fanfic that had a comedy scene of Teach in a Speedo. Why? Tell this. Because I was cursed with that image, so you will. <laughs> so will you. <laughs> Hashtag oh. sorry not hurt. Sorry. Come on, man. We did get another uh, Nakama status subscription from Mugiwara Waters. Uh, thank you so much for being nice, a Nakama. Nice. We got you, another one you. from Shadow uh, who became a Nakama. Thank you so much. Enjoy thank the emojis. You, and then we got three month membership to Nakama status from Mugiwara Waters. It says new episodes fire. Egghead coming to the anime, baby. Yeah, the, the, the new episode of the anime looked really good. I only saw clips on Instagram. You still watch the anime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. We're very anti anime over here. I, I, I just, oh. I just, I I sometimes think like you get a little bit more in terms of like fight perspective yeah. from the anime like especially with, like with gear five like a yeah. lot of people especially when a chapter drop were like oh yeah nah no way luffy can do all this and then now we see yeah yeah can do when, a lot. when the anime is done well it's peak yeah mm -hmm. i'll say that mm -hmm. uh we did get another 280 from galaxy shogun it says question mark question mark sanji did not get one shot where is zoro at and he's laughing. Um, this ain't the chapter to try to downplay Zoro for Sanji, bro. I'll say that right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we got another two from Axe D. Charlotte. It says, Big Bomb's coming back. Smoothie will squeeze lava out. Uh, smoothie versus Akainu? Okay. Listen, everybody here. Everybody's, <laughs> everybody's here. here right. We got another five from Alan Wells. It says, Zoro works out so much. By end of series, he's going to deserve to be called the world's strongest man and world's strongest swordsman. Could someone have two titles on their bounty poster? If anyone could, it would be Zoro. End of series, Zoro, anyway. Uh, we got another uh, five from Johnny Fesha. It says, Fish? Fasia? I don't know. It says, if y'all were to guess, where do you scale the Gorosei peas? Um, ben Blick That Boy Beckman Solo Them All. Hashtag Ben Beckman Supremacy. Man. Hashtag Sam Supremacy. Uh, yeah. That's conflicting because I don't. Put Ben that high. Yeah, put, I, I don't either. I put him high. I don't have him like. I, say, I, I don't. I don't. You say Ben? Either. Ben Beckman. Yeah. Would it was solo the Gorosei? Yeah, Apparently, I don't think so. Yeah. I think it would definitely be a, a Shang situation. Yeah. I believe Ben is strong, but not. Yeah. That's a lot. You're gonna need a lot, bro. Yeah. In, in an arc where Kazaru's in, he's the big bad. Put it that way. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, we got another five from Jose. It says Blackbeard is stealing Saturn's Dove Fruit trifecta. Uh, Logia Paramecia Zoan. I can see it. I don't see Blackbird getting close enough to that man to, oh, nah. to do I do think work. I do think Saturn's on pack watch though. I do. <sighs> not by Blackbeard. And they, and not, they, they, I don't know, but I by do anybody think, on Egghead. But listen. Straw Hat's got to overcome somehow, right? I could definitely see Order using Black. <laughs> they can, they can see you, Larry. Flee the scene. <laughs> we got another uh, Nakama subscription from Johnny Ficha. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we got another $1 from Hercules Mayorga. It's no words attached, so thank you so much. Next time, uh, say something. Another 20 from Kremit Die. It says, hi, gang. have two things. One, I heard a theory that talks about Shanks stop being the possible son of Gar Figure, not only being the possible son of Figurel and Garling, but him and his crew are part of the God's Knights. If true, would he be able to merc CDs whenever? Um, I'm just not a fan of that, yeah. personally. Same. Uh, I don't like Shanks to have these tainted thought processes they, attached to him. Shanks up as a God's Knight? Yeah, I don't like that. What? I, not because no. I think Shanks and his crew are full-ledged pirates. Yeah. Like, they kind of show credit that, no, we are pirates. Yeah. And them doing that kind of goes against what the God Knights are. Yeah, bro. We got another two-month membership to Yanko status from Karma. Uh, 
that's our highest tier of membership, membership. So thank you. It says, yo, glad to be back. Just turned 20 today. Hey, happy birthday, man. It says, so glad I can watch y'all on my break. Much love, guys. Hashtag Larry's best, Larry best takes. Hashtag Sims for Seb. Hashtag Lawrence D. Dilf. Hashtag Lionel is CGI. And hashtag Buggy Gang One. Thank you so much. Two, why are you working on your birthday? All right, don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. It's that 20 got, year old. <laughs> <laughs> we got another Nakama subscription from Kremit. Uh, thank you so much. Enjoy thank the you. emojis that Thank you guys for everything. And Nakama, mm -hmm. another five from Reward Zero. Oh, it says First time watching the live stream, 10 out of 10 podcasts. All I'm going to say is sadness standing on business right now <laughs> with the laughing emoji and a Saturday emoji. Yo, you got that BBL, bro. <laughs> He's that caked up. Number 10 from Senior Sombrero. It says, with the whole God Valley incident, it sounds like set countries are obligated to join the world government or else be able, be on the table for a cleansing. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's even limited to that. I think they, yeah. they'll probably choose from them first, mm -hmm. but it don't matter. Uh, yeah, anybody, it don't matter. Anybody can get. Anybody. The survey kingdom. They yeah. just, just grab people from there. Yeah, so right, it don't matter. They're yeah. all picking fodder for the Gersay. Uh, we got another 10 from Stickman582. Uh, it says, Bonnie's connections bother me. When Saturn discovered her on the island, said they no longer have use for her, leave her be, instead of eliminate her. Also, Kuma about to come flying in to repel some That's what I friends. thought. That's what I thought he. I thought he blasted himself to Egghead the first time I seen him leave uh, He might be coming now. I saw yeah, a theory on, on the Discord that he's going to push uh, Luffy's pain away. And bring Luffy Ooh. back. And then what? Fight for another five minutes. In the <laughs> Ten more okay, minutes. Bro. You know, we back. Hey, gear five, baby. <laughs> uh, we got another two from Terrence Matthews. It says, Larry, the their demons deal with it. Hashtag Larry Kofi. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, not demons. We got though. another seven from King SSD. It says, the way Oda showed Sanji made this chapter a five out of ten instead of being a ten out of ten. Also, Zoro should one-shot that cat. Power scaling going crazy. Hashtag useless D Jimbe. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they be putting stuff to make sure I say it, bro. Why? Um, <laughs> yeah. Power, power scaling is just crazy, this arc. Listen, I'm It's a, weird, this arc. I'm a huge Sanji stan, bro. Yeah. We've, I don't so we've care talked about this before. What happened to Sanji? This is a 10 out of 10 chapter, bro. Yeah, this chapter was really good. Uh, we got another m membership to Nakama status from All Kage. Enjoy the emojis that come being a member. Another 10 from Hazy Sake. It says, currently recovering from a procedure, but had to check in and get my laughs in. Hope you're all right, man. Yeah, yeah. I hope you're good. It man. says, but do you think Blackbridge crew might unintentionally help the Straw Hats get away? Um, maybe. Maybe. Possible. Actually, yeah. We got another two from Rinosuke. It says, Sunday said One Piece needs Planned Parenthood. Yo, yo, that was wild. Yeah, that was wild. That, that is was not wild. what I said. <laughs> yo, that is in context. You, you was wilding for a little bit in that little section there, bro. It was almost as worse as what Lauren said, bro. <laughs> yo, bro. I, I say uh, second option. Okay, mm -hmm. not a, the literal uh, brand of because they're all slave to them, right? Uh -huh. We got another 280 from King SSD. It says clap hashtag clap got clapped. <laughs> 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 another two from Okage. It says what's up, guys? Glad I caught the stream. Hashtag Larry B. Wallen. Uh, another five from Aaron Yeager. What's up, Aaron? You should be busy. It says first live show. Love what you got, you boys do, and usually gives my input in the Discord. Keep it up, y'all brothers are killing it. Hashtag Larry has L takes. Hashtag I side with Seb. Uh, thanks. <laughs> why? Why are the trumpets on that? Mark? Mark, uh, I haven't heard Larry say L takes Mark is a hater, today. Bro. Larry hasn't missed today yet, man. We got another twenty from Buggy D Dragon. It says sorry I'm late. Had you in the background at work. Sad that the broker ain't gonna be here tonight. Hope he is gonna be okay. Dude was spitting in the Discord after the stream last week. Not the same without you, bro. You know I'm only playing with the HP jokes. Me and Harry Potter. Uh, broker, prayers up, man. I hope, you have, hope everything's good. I don't know yeah, if anything. Yeah, happening. Yeah, I'll check in. It'll be okay. Um, another two from Luffy Nick. It says, who should have the ride ride fruit instead? Uh, we went over this a uh, couple... Uh, like last week. I Big think. mom. <laughs> wow. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do that. Viola, bro. Uh, another 15 from Cameron Alley. It says, who are some characters that passed arcs that you think could have a role in the end game? Also, what do you think Anel's role will be? Anel's a battery and... Absalom. Literally every single... He's gone. It's literally every... Oh, every character is coming back, bro. Yeah, he, That's how I want to do it. Yeah. Pelstar here. Another two from Aaron Yeager. Love the chapter. All respect to Kuma Daddy with the fist. Uh, mm -hmm. Another five from Victor Haight. Kuma did it because you can try and control a man's body but never control their soul. Pause. 
die. Another five from Detrax. It says, the way Saturn specified human is odd. Do you think it is because he views himself as above slash better than humans or that he may be from another race? Larry went over this uh, with the projection. He's just above them, bro. Yeah, yeah. he believes he's yeah, above yeah. them. Right. There's not going to be any demons in One Piece. Um, I guarantee you. Another attempt from Trav. Escape Udon for the end of the review. Baba Nuki was on some BS trying to make me work extra. I know y'all already covered it, but that's... But that's what Kuma Daddy mm. get making all that noise. Jesus! Wow, that's bruh. tough. That's, so Yo, what's that's crazy. You can't blame Kuma, Kuma, man. We got so much to on chat. Jesus! Oh. Another two from Project Ice Man. Thinking Rocks did a reverse Uno and hunted CDs. That'd be dope. Another two that's from what I was thinking, so. NA. Figurelin most definitely gave Whitebeard his scar. Interesting thought process. Uh, the reason why that might be true is because when Shanks and Whitebeard first saw each other. White Bear said to Shanks when he looked at him, you remind me of him yeah. and it makes my scars ache. Yeah. I was going to bring that up, but I forgot. Always assumed it was, it was Roger, Roger. But it, oh, still hope it's Roger. Figure that better be cold, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is hey, tabby. You put permanent scars on White Bear, you're pretty cold, man. That's what I'm saying. We did get another five from JT. It says, I wouldn't use weapons to fight a bear because that wouldn't be fair to the bear. 100, 100, 100. How you feel, Lawrence? I'm alright. Right. <laughs> it's an inside joke, man. Yeah. Lawrence thinks he can fight a bear. Hey, man. And win. You need heart. <laughs> hey, we got another two from Alkage. It says, What if Dragon pulls a Kobe and Garland is a Kainu? What if, what if Dragon pulls a Kobe and Garland is a Kainu? Hmm. Interesting thought. Another 10 from T-Tracks. It says, I think the reason they took Bonnie originally is because the girls they became immortal when they were older and then thought she might be able to turn them young pre permanently, but it didn't work. I like that. Yeah, that could be possible. I like that. Another 10 from hey Gr Heyman Gramps. It says, what if after Garling won, he became the king of God Valley? And they probably used that as a base to train either the 10 Holy Knights or as a secret base similar to the G Gear 5th or G5 or a place to train CP0 agents. Um, I think the fact that nobody knows about it and like the stuff that goes down goes down pretty soon, I don't think they had time for all that. Mm -hmm. Unless it's just relocated. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> all right, another five from Nick Sprags. It says, you think that the celestial hunt was held on the island Gaimon was stuck on? <laughs> there were five chests, including six, six including Gaimon, that were left empty on the island. That wasn't West Blue, though. I guess if it got moved to somewhere else. Yeah. I want relevance to that chapter. <laughs> there is, like, metaphorical relevance, but I want actual relevance. Another two for Victor Hate. Hunk could be a dark blood ritual to keep powers up. Like, their powers, the... But the Gorosei are the ones specifically with those powers, right? Yeah. I don't know. All right. Uh, another five from Regal Sloth. You guys reckon Buggy could awaken his fruit to split atoms, resulting in nuclear fission, essentially turning his buggy <laughs> balls into atom bombs. We went over this a long time ago. <laughs> How big Sundays are? Oh, I'm just man. like, are we talking about the same buggy? <laughs> yeah. Are you, to, are you buggy gang? Am I buggy gang? Yeah. What do you mean like that? He's secretly like one of the most strongest characters. Do you like that? do you enjoy buggy? Oh yeah, absolutely. I do enjoy his character. I okay. do. I don't think he's a splitting atoms. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why buggy gang's agenda to try to upscale buggy to make him as a, something he's not. As okay. a buggy gang gang member, he ain't doing all that. Yeah. He like, just I mean, not. He not, bro. Be real. Uh, we got another five from Jason Craig. He says, Larry, where do you see Dragon fitting into the story overall? I think he has to play a significant part in the end game events. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, absolutely. He better, Oda. <laughs> let I mean, I, just I, let him throw a jab first. <laughs> <laughs> like, let him do yeah, anything. Let's, let's bro. get there. Let's get there. <laughs> I'll, and then I'll start commenting. All right, we got another five from Ryunosuke. Shout out to Ryunosuke, man. What up? He says, Larry, that sounds a whole lot like my theory, but replacing Lunarians with moon people. We got another five directed at you, Sunday. It yeah. says, from Terrence Matthews, it says, Anime Sundays, you know the shows Yu Yu Hakusho and Inuyasha, those are yokai-centered shows. Mm -hmm. But when they're dubbed in America, they're called demons. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. That's much easier to explain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Terrence. We got another five from Kremit. It says, accidentally deleted my second super chat. Sorry, Larry, but if Shanks is the only one that takes Blackbeard as a threat, what the H-E double hockey sticks does that man got? <laughs> He fought Shanks 12 plus years ago. Yeah. I, mean. I just saw Luffy take on a Yonko within two years. And yeah. Admiral. 
We got another five from Luffy Nick. It says, is Shanks a clone or related to Figurland? Keep it up, y'all. I don't think Shanks is a clone. That would be trash. Oh, my goodness. Don't, no clone Shanks, bro. Clone. He is. I don't. What? If you're, no. You wouldn't have conquerors if you're a clone. So. Mm-hmm. And finally, another two from Terrence Davis Jr. says, do you think Yamato is the son of Big Mama Kaido? No. Mm. He, she's the daughter of Big Mama uh, Kaido. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bye, yeah. Soul Soups. Uh, not, not Big Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Fire. And yeah. now, our feature presentation. <laughs> you ready for some calls, bro? I'm ready, man. Let's do uh, it. Mar- Mar- throw the phone number in the chat. Be prepared. Hey, hey, Everybody man. that's watching, please like the video if you right, haven't already. Right, right. I'm trying to get to 1,000 likes. Yes. Oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> hey, what's going on? This is Larry from That One Piece Talk. Who are you and how are you? Yo, what go is Anthony <laughs> from Uda? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Yeah, bro? Uh, How are you? Man? I'm good. How about you? All right, all right. Talk to us, man. All right. I had a super chat yeah uh, last week. Mm-hmm. So if y'all were to run the block or spin the block on um Mary Joa, yeah, but y'all only bring one Yonko as a captain. And three YC2 uh, crew members. Who would it be? So, so if you were to go to a, a island, you would he have said Mary Jo. Mary Jo. Yeah. You have to choose one Yonko and three commanders. YC2 commanders, or or any uh, supernova. Okay. All right. Uh, just, just just like the res. It's like you know. Is he talking about? Like how Sabo pulled up? He's basically saying? saying pick pick your yeah. squad to take on Mary Jo. You got the, your core four. The Gonko and you pick your three. Kaido. Okay. And uh, if we talk of supernovas. You could do commanders or supernovas, he said. Um, I'm taking, um, um, I mean, this is just me personally because I'm not trying to say anyone's stronger. I'm just, I'm just taking Kaido and... Kaido King and then maybe like Zoro or somebody just because I like how they move. I like when people work together because they're they like each other because they're loyal because they believe in each other. You feel me? Now Zoro, I mean, I just think Zoro would not really like what's going on. So if I'm gonna take like a second in command, then yeah, I want him in there because I feel like he's more passionate about getting the stuff done. But I'm taking Kaido because Kaido's raising heck. He's not letting nobody, no celestial dragon leave, and they need that place needs to be burned to the ground. So. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm taking Kaido. Well, um, I was actually Kaido was one of my guests too, but since you picked Kaido, I'm gonna go with my my dude Shanks. Mm-hmm. And you said you said two. What was it two or three? Three. 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 I'll three. choose uh, Kaido Kiri, huh? since you yeah. chose King, and um, Kaido Kiri. And I'll choose uh, who? Who's the last two pick? You picked? I just posed King and Zoro. King and Zoro. Mm-hmm. And then I'll choose. All right, I'm gonna choose. Can I choose Luffy? Yes. Yeah, you only get one Yako, bro. You can't right. double. Oh, yeah, one yeah, yeah. Yako. You're so <laughs> difficult, bro. <laughs> you only get one Yako, bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So then let's see. King. Then I'm gonna choose after uh, Kari. I'm gonna go with um, Queen. And. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Jimbe. Mm. Mm. Larry? Uh, I'm going Kaido. And then I'm going Cat. And then I'm going Law. Mm. And I then see. one more person. I'd probably choose. <sighs> hmm. I'd probably choose Zoro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, because nobody picked him, I'll go Blackbeard. Just cause. Um, you're getting wiped. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting wiped. I'll you're not. Blackbeard. You're not even making it past it. I'll go Blackbeard. Uh, no, nah, I'm not going Blackbeard. I'm going Luffy. Yeah, I didn't pick Luffy, so I'm picking Luffy. Uh, Luffy. Good, bro. Um, <laughs> you're already good. Good start. <laughs> Luffy Law, because you said I could pick Supernovas. Uh. Uh-huh. Yanko Commanders. Queen was a good pick just because he could do crowd control. Um, damn, I'm trying to think of another person who could do crowd control on that level. I don't that's think Cracker's like, on that level. That's such as uh, Cat, too. 
Cause he can I'll do, do Cracker things. just to show Cracker some respect. I don't think he gets enough respect out here. I'll be crapping on him. And Zoro. Blue Fiend Zoro. Screw it. Why not? Yeah. 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 What about you, man? Yeah, man. All right. I got myself my boy White Beer. Hey, man. I love White Beer. White Beer, my main. Also, I got uh, Van Auger, Katakuri. And then. I'm gonna have to go with. I'm gonna say law. Why not law? Mm-hmm. Law's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As long I'm just happy that no one said Marco because I can't stand Marco. <laughs> oh oh man, my no, goodness! Man. <laughs> I can't stand it. Hey, my boy White Beard, like he he he's not writing. He's not pause. He's not like. Yeah, that was crazy. My bad. My bad. But like he's not he's not down for it, you know, like I can't stand Marco, but like he he gets me mad. He gets me mad. Like why? With pathetic devil fruit, can't use nothing, bro. No hockey. Oh my goodness, bro. Like, well, get out of here. That is <laughs> um, I just had to get that out of my chest. Thank you, Anthony, for that. <laughs> yeah, because Marco doesn't know how to use hockey, bro. Hang up. <laughs> I was like, Wait, hey, hey, yo, Mark, hang up on Anthony, bro. Go <laughs> back to the Udon, bro. Go back to Udon, bro. <laughs> Overtime for you. <laughs> all right, well, well, that's all I got. I want to get more callers in. I, I appreciate the new guest Sundays. I gotta check him out. Yo, pause again. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, bro. Much love for y'all, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you so much for the good community. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate you calling. Heck yeah. Thank you so all much. All right. Talk to you later. Mm-hmm. Have a good Peace. one. Thank you. Oh man, Marco hate funny. is crazy. It's not, but y'all hate Marco. They, Everybody hates Marco. They don't hate him. They just don't mess with him. I do. I mess with him. What do you do, man? Hey, what's going on? This is Larry from that One Piece talk. Who are you and how are you? Hey, what's up, yo? This is Eric from LA, man. I'm good. How are y'all? Hey, what's up, man? How's everything? Yeah. Oh, it's good. No, I just wanted to talk to y'all about that last chapter as well, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you have your chance. Go so, ahead. Yeah, no, so I'm I'm fully bought in. I think that Dragon's gonna be <clears throat> a young Marine. He's probably gonna get tasked with going to get Kuma and Ivanka and probably just dip with him. Mm, dips? Which leaves? I think I think there's gotta be more to it than that, right? Like there's gotta be some No, yeah, I think I think it's gonna be a parallel. I think it's gonna be he he gets tasked with finding them in the past. And I I, I know some people have said this. I think I think Dragon's about to pull up an egghead. Mm. Mm. Cause last time we saw, last time we saw Shaka, Shaka was on the phone with him, telling him that, you know, something might happen to the Vega Punk soon. So, I could see a scenario where he pulls up, and that'd be big news if the Revolutionaries took out the one of the five elders. Mm. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Um, as far as in the past, I, I still subscribe to the fact that I think he's fighting Garling. I think Dragon and Garling gonna have a face off. There's a reason why he's the world's most number one criminal. They also have that little parallel with Luffy where like yeah. he's faded a, a celestial dragon at some point yeah. at the same age that Luffy. Y'all got to stop respecting dragons so much. <laughs> Listen, I'm just, the Y'all story, gotta the stop story requires it, bro. It's not writing. Writing, bro. The hey, man hasn't gotta, done anything. Remember, Theorizing that a character remember, that yeah. hasn't acted yet might act is writing now. Come on, bro. Stop it. Also, also dragon dragon taught uh follow everything he knows. No, he didn't. He, Sabo's, Sabo's attacks are literally named after him. I can have a move named Anime Sundays, and that don't mean he taught me a move. <laughs> what, what are you talking about, bro? One, every time we've seen Sabo training, it was through Hack and through Kuma and Avanga. We ain't see Dragon do nothing, man. He don't even know about his own organization be, like doings. He ain't even know about the ancient <laughs> weapon. It had to be Avanga to say something. He out here only knowing that that holy knights exist so far. Dude is a bum, hey, bro, hey, so far. I'm a, I'm a, this character's I'm a, so I'm trash, a, bro. Yeah, he I'm going to just quote him. Ivanka, but I'm going to say, you know, blood blood tells, man. Blood will tell. Only thing we know, he probably got Congress hockey. That's it, bro. Cool. <laughs> Dribble of basketball. Just... Maybe dragon's fruit is in one of the chests. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> right. We, we allowed to speculate, bro. I put too much faith, bro. Let me live in my head cannon, man. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, yo. At least you're he's right. calling it that, though. You're he's right. not out here like right, that. My bad, yeah. yo. My bad. <laughs> no, I, I believe it's like the 
deductive right. reasoning. Yeah, there you go. Deductive <laughs> reasoning of why I believe that Dragon's going to be, like, strong. The same way, to me, how I see it, I gave reason why the girls say we're going to be strong and eat. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. He's going to be all right, bro. Dragon <laughs> going to be what he's supposed to be, yeah. but he's been trash so far. He hasn't done anything. How you call it trash? That's the point. Okay. <laughs> okay. The inaction. Larry just mad he wasn't there, bro. It's okay. What's the best? I'm telling you right now, how Larry sounded, that's how you was coming at Shanks. No, it wasn't. I yeah. never said Shanks was on Front Watch. There's I never problem. said that. Nah. I said he a rat. Nah, hold on. I said he was snitch. Hold on. There's <laughs> hey, a difference Shanks getting, between Shanks Dragon and Shanks' that. feats, bro. All right? Hold There's on. a big difference. But I never said Shanks. When did I ever say Shanks was weak, Lawrence? He's going to lie on the, to the public like that? Uh, you may not use those exact oh, words, so, but yeah, you don't like, prepare what me. What are we talking about? <laughs> Larry didn't even do that with Dragon. Yeah. Well, why I, not I, to I just, I just think that um, <laughs> every time we keep thinking a character is not going to be as strong as most people speculate, or to close it out and until that, Mihawk showed up. Listen, me all gonna show and prove to and went now. and went three for eleven, <laughs> trying to cut three times. Listen, get Luffy. listen, oh, listen I couldn't even I am, cut Jozu. I'm with you on the Mihawk. Is I had me on Fry Watch for a long Sundays, time, bro. I had me on Fry Watch for a long time, and still to this day, I mean, he didn't even want to go pull up on Shanks and Luffy now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm, sweating. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I just think that he hasn't been hyping Mihawk like that. I feel like he's been hyping Dragon out of every character, like. He's probably the top three most hyped characters because he want to pull him out in the way he wants to pull him out. And, yep. you know, we'll see. He may not be, you know, top two, but we, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Mm. Yeah. We'll all see. I'm going to say is the, the, the five elders sat around for 1,090 chapters, and all of a sudden, you know, <laughs> they're some of the strongest people we've seen. So yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, my, my hopes are high for Dragon. I think he's top. I think he's one of the top strongest people in the whole verse. Yo, y'all be making the Gorosei out to be all these big bads. Yo, everybody he been soloing so far have not been top tier, bro. They have not been Luffy. Oh, no, no. They haven't but... been anybody. They've been Sanji tier characters. <laughs> we, what, what, we're getting there, though. We're getting there. Oh, we're I can't. Know. You can't yeah. say Sanji tier. Look, I'm a Sanji fan, but... And your boy right got now. bodied. <laughs> <laughs> but see, but I think, but I think that's a credit to. I think that's a credit to. Uh, Listen, how many, how many people can just put Sanji down? No yeah, problem. That's, a credit to Saturn, not, that's not like a not feat. It's not a non feat. It's a feat. I guess. <laughs> Queen level <laughs> opponents. Oh, okay. Man. I don't know, man. Sa Sa I think Saturn's pretty cool. Man. Listen, he I, gonna be all right. Listen, you same one be hyping Big Mom, man. Queen, Queen, Queen has some smoke for her, bro. No, he didn't. Nah, Big Mom. No, big Mom's cold, man. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, and I'm, a, I'm on the Big Mom. I'm on the Sebastian smoke, will say this, man. but then support Marco. <laughs> Listen, Marco has smoke for Big Mom, too. Yeah, until he got put down by King. I'm a fan. And Queen. Yo, no, 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 no. The no, no, Marco no, no, no. misinformation, man. The Marco misinformation. It's all right, bro. Bruh. You realize he got grabbed and couldn't do that, right? He, that, was Queen, that was King, too, though. So what are we talking about? I'm a Marco gets grabbed by Yanko. He couldn't do nothing. King is yoked up by Marco while his man is getting yoked up. You know, you know he got grabbed by Yo, shut up, bro. I, I be do real, think, be real. I, I never thought Marco was like, you know, so not not tough. I just think that I'm a fan that if Law and Kid were on an island where you could not put that big woman off of it, they would have got packed up. I 1, agree. 1,000%. I agree. Oh, I my agree. God. Say the facts. Yeah, I agree. Like, they were, they got the luck of the draw, and, you know, Law did – Mostly carry that fight, in my opinion. So, you, you do realize though, Sebastian, that uh, Big Bomb gave more uh, dangerous or threat levels from Kid and Law than Marco, <laughs> Marco ever. She was fighting two people <laughs> at one time. If she was just fighting King, Kid, is she giving him that level of respect? She was just fighting Law. She giving him... no. Yeah. So stop. Like, more I than Marco. Understand. So Marco has to be more than King and Law. Kid and Law together. No, that, that, like you get, like Sebastian, how do you no, sound? No, no, Sebastian, you do realize if you do one on one v one against Marco and uh, Marco versus Big Mom and or and one v one versus Law and um, Big Mom and Kid against Big Mom, who does the worst out of all three of them? One v one against Big Mom, it's Marco. I agree. I think okay, Kid then. and Law are stronger than Marco, mm -hmm. but okay, but that doesn't mean Marco's weak. Kid and Law are strong. I didn't say Marco was weak. I just said, for example, right? We we ripping on you. We rip on Kid for his hot or his non-existent hockey. 
Where's Merkel's hockey at? <laughs> it's about the same level. The, thing is, the excuse is, kid is young and kind of new to the game. Merkel's been in the game for how long? Yeah. Bro, right. how many times have we seen Merkel fight for real? It's all off panel or pre time skip where hockey isn't being shown for real. Like, come on. Like, yeah. I don't understand. We yeah, still have I this think... argument, bro. Bro. This yeah, is it's I ridiculous. Think the closest thing you saw to hockey was when he kicked uh, Kazara at Marine yeah. for, but that was before you saw the color of hockey. But yeah. we see, that was the closest only if he had, had to any kind of like armament hockey, really. Only if he had one more person to kick during on the game. What are you talking about, bro? Listen, man, I'm not saying Mark no, no, had a no, great show. Like, but... That's the closest we ever saw two hockey from I mean, him. Was that that is crazy. It's, it's crazy because I saw yeah. Sanji like barely fight his dad. But hockey was noted in that fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But bro, we can't I'm, get so, that I'm sorry, bro. We're, we're, we're adults, right? Like, we're, we're fully grown men who read a series. We know Marco can utilize hockey, right? Or does it have to have everybody no, go, yo, you use hockey right now. It's not, no, it's not about like, using it. No, bro. it's not about utilizing hockey. It's about utilizing it well. We have other people, right, who fought in, in Wano using advanced hockey, using hockey harding. Not, that's not even advanced, just a sage of hockey. But their this fights dude's... were fleshed out. I'm talking, like, when did we see Marco fighting fleshed out on panel, Sebastian, boys? Why do you think... We saw little mini sk skirmishes Sebastian, consistently. Why do you think I use oh the Sanji? Why, why do you think I, I use the Sanji versus his dad? I mean, I, I, no. Listen, man, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, more of a, I'm more of a person that I think everybody in One Piece can fight everybody in One Piece. That is what I believe. I believe that there's a there if Oda would like it, there's a situation where you maybe box with somebody for a certain amount of time and it doesn't necessarily mean that you are trash or that you are greater than that person. But I do think certain characters are more useful. So Marco has his uses, but for example, you did lose to Blackbeard, bro. I'm not gonna lie, if my captain got packed up like that. <laughs> Somebody's getting so one of your one of your commanders is getting clapped oh. as well. We're not all going running and hiding for the next two years. That's not me, oh, me personally. Man, Do we have a fight that Marco won? No. Okay. Well, oh, actually, Chameleon. That's the one, but it's like a fake fight. I said he got his uses. You know, he held off King and Queen, but I mean, y'all have Queen a little bit more higher standard than me. I'm just like I Queen. Know. You're a little smarter than the average I, Joe, but I think Queen. You know, is, King is beast. But not for 1v1s. That's why I said crowd mm -hmm. control. Like, if I'm whipping out ice on him yeah, and mm -hmm. all types of wild stuff, like, that's beast. Yeah, I mean, you know, chopper slapping you around, I think it's type of situation. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he was, didn't he? Oh, Put his anyway. hand open, open hand? Thank you for so much for the call, brother. Appreciate you yeah. starting this. <laughs> yeah, just a, just a quick one. I know y'all said y'all are not really anime uh, people like that. I am. Uh, I next week's episode, I don't know if y'all are cool with me telling y'all. That's but uh, they're they're gonna flesh out that Green Bull versus King and Queen fight a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if y'all was interested in that or not. It looks pretty dope just from the preview. I mean, oh, I, don't know. I can't wait to see Momonosuke pack him up. You <laughs> 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 mean, man? Oh, First man. blast breath ever. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, That's man. Listen, man. I'm gonna be honest, bro. They can hype it up all they want, but at the end of the day, they still hurt. And they still hurt. Like, I just needed to make that twice. No, so, oh, for like, sure. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I agree with you. Because we got somebody that could regenerate with extreme <laughs> hockey possibilities. <laughs> and he still had bandages on his face. Yeah. So I don't expect somebody it's... like King and Queen who have ancient Zoe and Devil Fruits to be repaired faster than a regeneration man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I know. I agree with you. Yeah. Shout out to Marco, though, yo. He tries. But <laughs> thank you for the call, my brother. Marco Clutch, All right. Thank man. you, guys. Have a good fun. one. Thank you. Without Marco, it's a different, it's a different war. We got a lot of super chats. No. All right, All right man. Take care. Thank, thank you. All right, Marv. You know what? We're gonna stop the phone calls. Um, everybody, like the the video if you haven't liked the video just yet. Um, so yeah, man. Just to end it off. Um, thank you for being here, oh, brother. Yeah, of course, man. Yeah. Uh, man, this is an honor. I'm, I'm feeling like this is, you know, I feel like we definitely need more. Uh, one Piece podcast. So if y'all out here are getting educated and learning, y'all need to get along these boys' wave and, and, and start, you know, being some competition because they killed the game. <laughs> <laughs> they killed the game. Right? Well, there's a couple, there's yeah, a couple of them out there. They got the original, that uh, the One Piece podcast, okay. which was mm -hmm. like the inspiration for this. They're nice, really nice. good. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, nice. Um, there's a couple of these guys out here, but yeah, man, you know, final words for the for the people. Uh, I mean, listen, man, just happy to be here. Uh, y'all boys, listen, if y'all ever need me to come back, more than, more than happy to do so. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, 
you know, again, Fuji tour is all right. We'll see, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what he's talking about. Oh, um, man. But, you know, I say, I know you guys, you boys ain't anime boys, but listen, they're going up right now. I, I, I like to see it for a fight's perspective. And so sometimes, like, I, especially watching, you know, like 1074, things like that, Luffy was doing, like, and I think that's what's going to happen in the manga, too. Like, we're going to start seeing way more, like, nuances and just, like, different feats from these characters that make them way harder mm -hmm. than when we first read it. So, mm. I think y'all boys should tap did in, that, Did that happen with Marco? <laughs> I mean, I, for me, it did. When I first, so, when I first read it, I didn't think, I was like, okay, Marco did a little something. But to see him fight King Queen, I was like, that was not bad. I was like, that wasn't bad. You know, he did a little something there. You had to see him fly. I get you. He was flying. Yeah. I mean, he was flying and countering. And did you see him get put? <laughs> I did see. I mean, okay. yeah, I see yeah. him get put. He got put. I mean, he, he got sat he, down. Yeah. And he, was, <laughs> he was like, he was like, all right, I'm gonna let the star of the show <laughs> pull up. And I said, I, I respect it. You yeah, know, shout, to start a show. Shout out to Marco, man. <laughs> uh, we did get a couple super chats. I'll read them off real quick before we end out. Uh, $2 from Simon. It says, Dragon top three, only Emu and Shank stronger. Dragon to go. Ah, oh, man. We got another five from Regal Sloth. It says, You guys think Luffy's too young to be a Pirate King right now, considering the strongest characters in the series reach Prime a lot older than 19? No. Uh, Luffy's technically 29. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. But yeah, he's still young. He still needs to grow a little more because you can't be gassing out when you fight on top of your liver yeah. after five yeah. minutes. PK at nineteen, dog. No time skip. What? How, how long? How many years do you think we got? We got left before Luffy gets there to what? One Piece? Yeah. He gonna do it this year in verse? Probably. Um. Our verse in the inverse in never, this in year, inverse. bro. This the year. I probably say within the next two years. Okay. Um, it'll be next two years. And you then, said no time skipped up. No time this year, bro. And then after the the finding of it, we'll get into the last bro, that, last part. That robot just woke up, bro. You think he gonna wait two? No, bro. This year, this year. Andre, he gotta be approaching twenty soon. We got another uh, five from Brendan Miller. It says, "Dang, try calling in tonight. Didn't get through. Next time, fellas. Hope my friend of me broker is doing all right, man." Uh, hashtag buggy gang and another five from Luis Rodriguez. It says, Peace, y'all. Much love from Dallas, Texas. Oh, Put in my you. boys, uh, spreading the wave. Shout out. Hey, thank you. Thank Appreciate you, that. that. Like the stream, y'all. But, like that. um, yeah. is there anything you want to? I mean, where they can find you? Or anime, anything? listen, Anime X Sundays on all platforms. Uh, if you like good TikToks, if you like a little bit of the band, I do cosplays. If you're in the ATL area, I throw a party called Trap Sushi. Cosplay competition, mixed Asian culture, and uh, ATL trap culture. It's a movie. Come through. It'd be lit. I'm telling these boys they need to come through because I'll make sure yeah. they're Gucci. So, yeah. Uh, we lit, man. <laughs> <laughs> For everybody that wants to find him, too, I put his uh, link tree in the video description. So if you guys just click on the video description, click the link tree, you'll find oh, every yeah, you link want a, possible. You want a sweater, too. I got, yeah. I got the Joy he Boy. Has merch. He has Jump merch. Uh, Catch a Freeman, Joy Boy, soon. We might get that. Nika, we need that. Nika, Nika Spiritual's on the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but again, I just want to say thank you to everybody, man. Thank you to the people that are on Facebook. Uh, I don't know if they are, but thank you, uh, YouTube, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts. You guys are amazing. Uh, thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you for loving Anime Sundays, for being a guest. Uh, thank you for everything that you guys were doing, Super Chats-wise, and thank you for the likes. Uh, again, if you don't have the financial means, that's all right. You don't have to do that, but it's out of the kindness of your heart, right? So we appreciate it, but the likes are also very good, too. So thank you, thank you, thank you on top of more thank yous. My name is Larry. Lawrence. Sam. Anime Sundays. And Lionel. Jana, everybody. Take care.